braided lords of Celtus surrender Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glaivegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west, and the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood in protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secured. The Sky Islands, careful. Ever I'm being careful. With winged as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the wound That's not a word. Now Earth yawned wide as he spoke, declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn! You think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But mine. But I am not. But I am not the man content to simply wander. I am. I'm wandering every third word. I'm distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about Arce Norman. Hold it up. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. Uh, ladies, gentlemen, everyone, please take your seats. Hey, wait up, Luna. Over here, Jack. Down. After you. How much did we get? We. I provided moral support. Mm -hmm. Maybe the others made out better. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. 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 It's a fun word. It feels sneaky. Also, you two stay out of Topside. No one's using the cargo lift. Come on. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um, Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? It's pretty rude, if you ask me. That Sandrak is a boss. That's what it says. You missed the part where he's called the Tyrant of Rashan, right? You said you weren't paying attention. Maybe I just wanted to see what you took away from it all. Let's cut through the market. Sure, but let's keep an eye out for the constable. The market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds made up. So, when are you gonna tell them? Are you gonna tell them? Maybe, I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure, I get that. Oh. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We- I've got an idea. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? 
Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Huh. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal, I can even buy land. A whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Everwar. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Everwar. I want to fight for Lucian. Exactly the same thing? Just shut up and shoot. When they ship you off to fight in the Ever War, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless, and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like... Pew, pew, pew. A Magnus is like... Pow, bing, brrrra! I mean, it's not even a contest. <sighs> yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic, as far as the Magna are concerned. Oh, I can smell Fife's stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. <laughs> We're home. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning, and that's when the soldiers fear you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out of the back of Troy's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh, no. You're not eating that. Shoo. Sure. Probably wise. Stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us? Shut up, you. What are you doing, Rugrat? Stole some posters, adding them to my scrapbook. Wanna see? Sure. But what's with you stealing posters? It's part of the historical record, Jack. Join the fight. No thanks. This propaganda is going to rot your brain. Is that what happened to Luna? Brain rot? Is that why she's joining the Lights Army in the morning and leaving us? Yes, sir. No. No one said anything about Luna leaving. I'm not a big dummy, Jack. I know you're not. You don't have to try and protect me. Yeah, well, I'm always gonna. I know you told him. I did not. Well, something's got him all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big, fat, official-looking books of... What is it this time? The Officer's Manual of Lights Army Regulations. See? No way that gave away the store, right? What are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred foot tall crab or one hundred one foot tall crabs? The day may come. You should say probably a hundred. Wait. A Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Don't overthink it. But Vecchi's are super aggressive. It's a fight. I don't know. If it's not about killing a hundred regularly dispositioned crabs, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Idiot. I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just... just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. 
Fife has a guilty look. Because he's eating us out of house and home. All those apples you nicked yesterday? Gone. Those were supposed to last a week. They lasted an hour. Babs is going to miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. She's a natural. Caleb's out late. I approved it. He's a good earner. Something's been really off with him lately. He's just impulsive. He'll grow up. You all will. So what's in that book of yours? Lights Army Regulations, duh. Sure, but like, the worst one. You have to wear a surprising number of reflective belts. <laughs> what? No, I mean it. Maintaining the grounds at the keep? Reflective belt. Directing constructs to clear the roads? Belt. 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 I didn't expect the Everwar to be so safety first. Or so polite. I'm going to have to learn like 20 different salutes depending on Magnus officer ranks and the color of magic they use. Unless it's a foreign dignitary, then it's a weird kind of ancient curtsy. You, you, you know it's just going to be trenches and spell smoke, right? Night blades hacking away at everyone. Yeah, probably. You should keep quiet about being from Saren. What do you mean? The Lucians. They don't really like us. Only because we constantly say that Saren isn't really part of Lucium. But it's not. Seen a map lately? Maps don't count. All right, they, they just do that so they can conscript us into the Light's army. Just don't say anything, okay? Saren is home. It's a ramshackle wonderworld built by the lost, the low, the lightless in the margins. Hanging above the wound with all the defiance her forebears passed on to their children. There's no finer city in Lucium than Saren, rickety in everything but faith. That's what I'm going to say, and you can't stop me. So, learn anything new about the Magni in your book? Just that Magni don't have to actually read it. What, like they have their own book? Wouldn't know. That's a different world from ours. The only time the regulations mention the Magni is when it's about how to do exactly what they say because they know best. Psh, you're probably smarter than half of them. Magic can't conjure wit. Ben Tilly used to say that. Before, you know, she mysteriously disappeared. All right, see you at dinner. You bet. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? Pentasad. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Caltus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand. Let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be- Ah! Damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you- I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's gelling. Have faith. Caleb's gonna be all right. The nobleman buying all the housing in the East Nets in Harrow's Edge. That's the mark. That's, uh, that's the they'll kill you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic means... What? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. 
drugs from topside. I mean, I don't have a better idea. Yeah, no, this, this is smart. They say he's old. He'll have all kinds of medicine. It's a good play. You're saying something you're not saying. It's just, this kind of thing comes naturally to you. Like, it's so natural, you didn't even know what our plan was gonna be when we headed out, and now, bam! Here's how we're getting out of this. You're going to do great when I'm gone, Jack. I promise. Those are lights on me, soldiers. Your new best friends. Funny. Looks like they're in a hurry. What do you think they're doing here? I don't know. It's weird. Over there. That manor. That's where we're going. Huh. Okay, then. Game face, Jack. Yep. I don't know what any of this stuff is. What color is life magic? Life magic? Look, I don't know. I think it's green. Just look for green. Hey, check it out. Oh, shit. You didn't say he was a Magnus. Do you know how to work a sigil? <laughs> no, you don't either. Details. Just open it or whatever. Is that your definition of being careful or? Whoops. What are we gonna do with it? Wiggle it at Caleb? Maybe. Wh what do you mean, maybe? Uh oh. Shit! Let's get out of here! Run! Come on! This way! That's the city alarm! Uh, just for us? Saren's being attacked! Air raid. It, it, is that? It's Rashawn. Sandrax attacking the city. We have to get back to the others. Come on. We've got to get home. Chance they're not dead. They know what to do in the raid. We made them practice. You did? I made jokes the whole time. Feel guilty later. Ah! Ah! Are you all right? Right. Right behind you. Almost there. It's just up ahead. I don't know what to do. It's shock. Don't let it in. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. Jack! Luna! Come on! We can make it! Jack! You aren't done here, asshole! What are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't!
They have names for what you are. An unforeseen. A candle of Shaled. A child of the rivers. Lucky. In this case, yes. The next time it happens, it might kill you. We're driving the Rasharnians back from Saren. But you aren't safe here anymore. They'll hunt you down. You'll need help. Jack. You'll need help, Jack. I'm Grand Magnus Kirkin of the Order of Immortals, Field Marshal to the Light's Army. You can add late to all that. Fine. I know who you are. Seen the posters. Join the fight. So, Jack... Are you going to? The power inside you. It comes from the ley lines. All magic in this world does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to catch that magic can make it do almost anything we want. Okay, back of this world? That's right. There's another under this one. The Shrouded Realm. That's where magic starts. Where the ley lines pour out from. Look at them, Jack. Try to see the web they make. Do I have to close my eyes or something? Uh... No. No, not at all. Just look at that ley line there, and then let yourself see through it. Whoa. They're everywhere. Yes. They cover Avium like a net, bathing it in magic. This is why we fight in the Ever War. Politics, land, ideologies, all of that is secondary to the control of magic. Who's we? The Magni Orders. The armies those orders command. Now that the other kingdoms are either lost or scattered, only Lucian remains to resist the tyrant of Rashan. More and more, he drives our forces into the enemy itself, casting them down into that bottomless hole under the watching judgment of the Pentasod. If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. Almost out of time, Jack. Sandrak attacks us from all sides, and there is no place left to run. I know what you're about to say, but I'm not a soldier. I'll fix that.
shit. You've never seen the Pentaside up close. You saw how I lived under a giant bridge. A giant bridge, sir. Use it. What Rashan did to your home in Saren, they've been doing everywhere. Sandrak's forces are relentless now that Kalthus has fallen. This was all a sanctuary settlement of refugees fleeing the front lines before it became just another battlefield. It's as good a place as any to continue your training. This place is empty. Sandrak massacred everyone? Your sigils will help you focus your magic. Make it accurate. Keep it level. Prevent it from killing you. Your sigils mark you as a battle mage of Lucium and the Light's army. A Magnus. Yes. Now, get ready to fight, Magnus. Fight what, sir? Battlefields have memories, Jack. I'll wake them for you. This way. You weren't entirely without magic when we met. Innately, you knew how to defend yourself with it. Yeah, I really just knew how to clean weird gunk off the underside of a bridge. We all start somewhere. Right now, you need to learn how to defend yourself better. At range. Go to that spell altar there. It will teach you how to summon a shield. Take it easy, conscript. You're still vincible. Now let's see what you can do. called a triarch, Jack. The Pentasad has gifted you with the ability to manifest all three colors of magic. Some Magni only know certain colors? There are benefits to it. The more limited your palette, the easier it is to master. The triarch trades that mastery for versatility. That altar there holds your first red spell and a sigil to harness it. Take them both. Okay, do I take the blue one off? What? What? Oh, okay, I put the red one on my left arm. Got it. No, just, just reach for the red sigil, Jack. Neat. Yes, neat. Now take the spell. It feels angry. Spells are alive in a way. Red magic is particularly violent, but the sigil will bend it to your will. Don't allow them to close in on you. If they do, switch to your red magic and blast them back. Know which of your colors is best in any given situation. Don't get overconfident. The Rasharnians will always have you outnumbered. Some spells are not focused through your sigil, but through a totem. Take that one. Whoa! I, I can hear it coiling. What is that? It's a lash. You can use it to pull enemies towards you. Most of them, anyway. The larger ones, not so much? Not so much. Go to the next altar. Of all the colors, 
Green magic, the most curious. It's the province of spirits, of death, life, and transition. Ouch! Ugh. Guessing this spell emphasizes the death part. Hmm. There is a war to win. Animate allows you to manipulate some objects into different shapes. Some? How will I know which ones? They have been marked by another Magnus with a glyph. Look for it. Find the green glyph on that statue there. Then direct it. all so I can join the Lights Army? You already did by accepting a sigil from their field marshal. This is training. You mean you? You just give me one and boom? Boom, sir. And yes. Then tell me about the Order of the Immortals, sir. Back in Saren, you said you were their leader too. That's a... are they a different thing? The Immortals are more than soldiers. We're the champion protectors of Lucian. It's Masters of Magic and Order Elite. We're the tip of the spear. How many immortals are there, sir? Too few. Furies are powerful spells that will take great energy to cast. This one will allow you to break enemy shields. Sounds useful. While you constantly draw magic from the Shrouded Realm, it can drain quickly in combat engagements. Those crystals there, use them to replenish your magic quickly and stay in the fight. This way. A single Magnus of the Light's army with the right training could have repelled Sandrak's forces here. Saved the lives of those that called it home. Yeah? Then why didn't they? We can't be everywhere at once. So, kinda like Saren then. Save that anger for your final challenge. What is that? Prepare yourself, Magnus. That was impressive. The Oath Broken of Kalthus are a difficult challenge. Thank you, sir. High marks all around, Jack. Meet me topside. Those were just spectrals, sir. When do I see a real fight? In time. There's more to learn than just spellcasting. Like what? In your case, self-control. Why the frown, soldier? You've done well today. I just... I guess I... Look, sir, I don't want to do this part. The just a soldier thing. Don't get me wrong, I'll fight. I promised a friend I would. Promised my family. Did you? It doesn't matter. What I'm getting at is I want to be an immortal. I want to fight this war as one of you. One of the elite. It doesn't work that way. With respect, sir, that lie is just so... How do I put this? I'm not buying it. All right, you're training me. 
personally. You command the entire army of Lucium, and it's just what? It's, oh, hey, how about I raise a few phantoms here for this kid I just met because I guess I got time to spare? It absolutely works that way. Because then that makes you special. That's where this is going? Tell me, just how many soldiers do you think Lucium has left to train? Everyone that can fight already is, and we're still losing. Sandrax literally pushed us to the edge. Oh, I, w w well, uh... Yeah, I like your spirit, Jack. I like you. I found a child so lost and so angry whose new powers could easily make them a threat to the kingdom I protect. The choice was either to kill you or to turn you into a weapon against Rashar. Because we need everyone we can get. Back up. Option A was to kill me? Don't mistake my attention here for an endorsement into the Order, Jack. You'll put in the time, on the front lines, like everyone else. How much time are we talking? On deck. Our attention. Thank you, Marshal. Anyone that stood up needs to stay that way. Their next wave is moving in, and we've got positions that need bodies. The Rasharnians capture this ley line. We can all lie back down. Permanently. You're with Barker, right? I need him to line up his strikers along the eastern wall. There's a Red Division on its way. Yes, sir. Round two. Rasharnians haven't had enough yet? We haven't given them enough yet. That still work? Important one does. Good. You're Holland Mead's oldest, aren't you? Yes, sir. You've got a fear in your eye you don't need today, son. Sorry, sir. Today's the day they turn tail. I know these things. I told your father the same thing at Sundown 10 when he was your age. Sure enough, it happened then, too bit easier to swallow when you're immortal, sir. That's just a silly name to make our enemies cry at night. But this, this is real. No Roshanian spell gets through this today. Thank you, General. Surprised you're still here, sir. Isn't selection today? You know it is, Jack. And both of us know I'm ready. Guess it's too bad you're here, then. Tell me why you want to be an immortal so bad. Serve Lucium. Don't. That'll just make me mad. You've had five years to come up with an answer to that question. I'm tired of hearing what your friend Luna wanted. You need to think about what you want. I... Our only focus right now is holding this ley line tower. First thing that happens if Sandrak gets it, he points the ley lines straight at our rivers. And our rivers decide they're not real anymore. An intelligence briefing showed me Sandrak can attune the rest of the towers he's captured to this one. Like a net. He's never been this close, has he? No. And if we don't stop him, he'll magnify his magical capability by a staggering amount. How staggering? Like I said. Some serious end of times shit. No rivers, no fish, no need to fight if we starve to death first. And as Lucians, we love fish like you wouldn't believe, Jack. You love it so much that no drinking water is more of a side concern, apparently. Watch it. Yes, sir.
next wave. Sandrak's overextending himself. Intelligence briefing say that? Or are we just hoping that's the case? We're just hoping. Today's the day they turn tail, sir. Switch on and get to the forward bastion. Yes, sir. Jack, you help us win this. I'll know you're ready. Okay. I made the thing mad and it dropped me. I think it's heading back your way. I need you to do the same. Now. Rasharnians are this close to breaching the East Battlement. On it, sir. Just let me... Just let me get my bearings. You want to make selection today? You better find them fast. What are they doing out here? Check it out. Negative. I need you back here. We know it's headed in the same direction anyway. It's not bearing for the front at all, sir. They seem interested in some kind of temple way out here. And Order Magnus is beyond you, Jack. Debatable. Sir, it's the hand. You're sure? Okay then. Definitely sure. This just got very important, sir. Agreed. You're clear for recon only. Follow, but do not engage. Find out what the hand is looking for. Kirkin. Maybe engage a little.
Okay, how do I get out of here? Rabbited with some kind of artifact. Aristean by the look of it. I couldn't stop her. Understood. Get back to the front as fast as you can. We've got soldiers pinned down by that howler near the West Passage Gate. I'm on my way. They're retreating. You had something to do with that. Just doing my part, sir. You did well today. Thank you, sir. But the hand of Sandrak, any idea what she might have taken from the temple? I'll look into it. You, though, you're going to be late. Get to the Palathon. Selection starting soon. I mean, the Palathon's kind of a hike. Isn't there, like, a field promotion you could do? Nope. Come on, you and me, ushering in a new tradition. Battlefield selection. No more long lines, convenient. Dismissed. Because she believed in me. What's that? That's why I wanted it. Won it. So bad. I need to prove to myself Luna was right. Soko. Jack, the big day finally arrives, huh? Yes, sir. That news traveled fast. Kirkin might have led on that she thought you were ready for selection after this campaign was over. Her intuition is rarely wrong. Wow. I never got that read. At all. The whole time. Ever. Like, ever. The crippling uncertainty made you fight harder. <laughs> Maybe. So how's the road, sir? Too dangerous for my liking. This close to the Palathon. You should visit the forge and get your gear sorted before setting out. Good idea. I'll be back. Open the gate! You'll need to be cautious, Jack. We've got incursions large and small around the clock here in Lordsville. Wound drifts have collapsed near the Oroman border, giving Rashan's airships a beachhead they've never had before. It feels like it's growing faster, huh? When I was a kid, the wound was just this abstract void my friends and I lived over. I never really knew how much of the world it had swallowed up. Ask me. It's a true enemy of the Everwall. In their endless fight for magic, the Magni ignore the Great Wound's relentless advance. 
Don't tell Koken I said that. When you're right, you're right. See you later, Captain. Jack, how are you braving the roads? I'm not gonna say it's great out here, sir. Any word from the Palathon on my uh, appointment? Is that nerves I hear? Nervous about what, sir? Trying to join the most elite Magni order in the world? Even failure is a chance to learn, you know? Not helpful. Getting close to the Palathon. Should look for an entrance to a skiff bay along that wall. You're an immortal. Orfe, the seer. Kirkens told me about you. And you're Kirkens' foundling. The candle of Shaled. Answering our question about the atrocities of Rashan. I'm um, say what now? Forgive us. We lost our train of time. You will be answering our question shortly. And then you arrive at the Palathon. Your train of time. Got it. Weird. We're still waiting. What? Oh, uh, the three atrocities of Rasharn are the burning of the House Calaman Magni, the poisoning of the Wraithwind, and the enslavement of the Kalalish Guildmasters. Acceptable. And your Kirkens foundling, the Candle of Shaled, answering our question about the atrocities of Rasharn. Okay, I think the train left the station again. Can I... Go. Of course. Good luck. It's a list of the dead. There are so many, no one can remember all their names. I never knew there were that many immortals. Oh no, it's everyone across Avium that fell in the Everwar. The Palathon tracks it somehow, all the way back. You know, we're still not really sure who built this place. A bit morbid, really. Having a massive death list right when you walk in, now that I think about it. Oh, hello. I'm Devin, by the way. Just got back from the front. Jack, stationed at Yilthium Fields the last few weeks. I'm from Serum, originally. Is that right? I've never met anyone from East Lucium. And you still haven't. Said I was from Seren. Ah, oh, nice. A little provincial machismo. Let me show you around, Jack. Promise it's not all a big down. I, uh, really need to get to selection. Absolutely no idea where to go. Come this way. I'll show you. I remember Kirken talking about a Jack from Seren a few times. Said you'd make a great immortal one day. Huh. She... Said that? No. I'm just trying to calm your nerves, man. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been an immortal? Oh, ages. Well, a few years. But immortal years are like dog years. They stretch on and on. So you're the best of the best? You sound doubtful. It's a cheery disposition. But the Rashanians have sent writs of assassination to every quarter asking for my head. I'll get some of those writs myself just as soon as I look up what writs are. I'm sure you will, especially as a triarch. We don't get many of those. Well, any of them, actually. So what's the secret? How do you do it? Don't know. I just do. I see. You just do. No need for hard work and discipline when you can just do. Good lesson for the kids. Is this part of selection? You busting my balls? <laughs> no. Selection is much worse. We're almost there.
Got another one for group five. No. Oh, stop. He'll be your star pupil. Jack here's the soldier that was crucial to the rout at Yilthium Fields. Kirkin's pet initiate? I'm literally standing right here. The path is ready for this group, and I'm not asking her to reconfigure for one more. She'll complain and give everyone in the Palathon nightmares for a week. Get ready. Those doors open, you go in, one at a time. Come on, Zendara. You know the path already senses he's here. Okay. Why are you talking about it like it's alive? It's not happening, Devon. On the one hand, nightmares brought about by a cranky magical gestalt conscious thing. That's okay, ignore me. It's cool. On the other, a stern lecture from Kirken for playing needlessly hardball. I know which one I'd pick. You weren't here for my speech to the selection candidates, initiate. So I'll give you the short version. So it is happening? Shut up. Welcome to the path. Stepping through that door means you think your magic is strong enough to issue a challenge to the Pentasad. That you fear no judgment or censure for doing so, and that your life word to the ley lines is forfeit if you're found wanting. The really short version? Don't fuck up in there or you all Like, for real? More like absorbed into the path and removed from existence? But don't sweat it. I believe in you. She definitely thinks you're going to die. That's why her face looks like that. But don't let it shake you. And anyways, optimism is a moral imperative. I'm Zandara of House Cadus, Warden of the Path and oath sworn to the Immortals by Ancient Treaty. It was nice knowing you, Jack. Hero of Yilthium Fields. A smarter man than you would have ended this day on a high note. Isn't she great? fumbling about in Seren. What? I grew up here. Don't move shit, bird. Best crab in the Harrows. Kill most. But we both know that's not really crab. How far from here to Trotter's place? <laughs> By a rooftop? He's Seren born and bred, guys. Settle down. Where's the people? I don't know. You need any more? That was the day I met Luna and the others. Guess we're not playing fair anymore. This way, we're almost there. How many rooms? I got no idea, but it's fuck huge, so probably a lot. There's just the five of us. Then eventually we might all get really lonely. Who cares, come on. Check her out. That whole thing? Whole thing. How are we gonna defend that whole thing? What? What? We squat a place like that, we need to figure out how to keep it. Nah, it's ours. I bought it. How did you... What? Where did... It's not a mystery, Jack. I saved up. I wanted a house and now I have one. All of us do. She was so proud that she found us a home. And that... 
that was the last time I actually had one. Thanks for the reminder. everyone. I sent them all home. You're the only one to pass. R really? Follow me, Initiate. Let's head back up. She was right about you. That you'd surprise me. Seems like Kirkin really talked me up to everyone. I don't mean Kirkin. I mean the path. She knows I don't expect much from the unforeseen. Are we heading towards a backhanded compliment, or... We zoomed right past. Okay. Magni of the Great Houses don't exactly hide their prejudices, do they? Against your kind. We have good reasons. My kind? Wow. You know, just because I, uh, spontaneously exploded with Magnus-level magic or whatever doesn't mean that don't I- Don't worry, Initiate. I won't let it cloud my judgment of you. You're different. How so? You're one of us now. Sandrak's western incursion has been pushed back to the Sky Islands. Only his harriers remain. Hey, congratulations. And so what now, I hear you ask? Surrounded, but for now unpressed, do we send our forces north to lift the siege at Lavenry? Or fortify the southern front? Marshal our strength, or test its limits? I'll be honest, I don't know which move is best. But I do know... We have reinforcements. We do? She means you, dummy. Welcome, Jack of the House Unforeseen. Newly mantled immortal. Champion protector of Lucium. Master Magnus of the Order Elite. What words do you have for those under our command? Are you serious? They're waiting for your answer. Don't take five years. <clears throat> hey, so... So, when I was a kid, I had this friend that wanted to fight in the Ever War. I can't believe I... <laughs> that I used to give her a hard time about it. She never got a chance to, um... Well, Rasharn attacked, and, uh... Well, I don't even have to finish that sentence. Everyone here has a story that starts or ends with Rasharn attacked. And everyone here has survived those stories. But there are so many that didn't. Too many. Their names fill the walls of this place. No more names. No more names. May all of Lucium honor yours until the end of days. Whoa. Bottoms up? So, what now? This is your party, Jack. Mingle. All eyes are on you. Mingle. Bask, even. What about the stolen artifact? It was like a big, glowy crystal with etchings all over it. We're scouring the archives. Nothing yet. Go enjoy yourself. Get to know some of the people you'll be working with. Or if the pressure to socialize is too much to bear, head to your new quarters and turn in for the night. So, Zendara. I know. Just saying, kinda rained on my parade to get through selection, and then she says, my kind are trash. Dangerous. Anomalies, mistakes, insults to the Pentasad. These last five years, I'm sure you've heard it all. I just figured, 
I don't know, that there might be more enlightened views among the immortals. I won't make excuses, because there are none. It's an ugly aspect of the Magni dynasties and their rulership across Avium. You already know, the Lightless have it worse. Devin seems nice. For an elite Magnus. And he's taken a shine to you. That's good. Devin's never really been comfortable at the Palathon. Really? I can tell he misses the front. He prefers field work. Soldiering. Huh. Wouldn't have pegged him for that. Devin's our best fighter. That's why we need him back here. So, do we get secret handshakes? Several. Seriously, though, is there a new manual or something that tells me what my duties are now that, you know... Those come later. Honestly, the Order's traditional training and initiations are more informal, more agile than they have ever been in the past. It's not ideal, but the current state of the Everwar means most of your education will be in the field. Do I get to finally know what the name is all about? The... Immortals? We borrow our name from a more ancient Pentadi order that once practiced here. The Un Avlashud, the Enduring. They had learned to stretch time and live inside it in a way that mortality meant nothing to them. That sounds fake. It probably is. In any case, the Pentadi eventually vanished, but the legends that they had conquered death didn't. Those that founded our order saw no downside in being associated with such power and prestige. So it's branding? Pretty much. Good night, sir. Good night, Jack. Mingle. Right. Hold up. These are my quarters? Morning, sir. I think I might have, well, accidentally slept in the wrong room. It's kind of, uh, extravagant and really big. You'll get used to it. Come down to the vault. We need to talk about your next steps as an immortal. Will do. Now that you're an immortal, Jack, do you want to know a secret? <laughs> that you actually have hobbies? These all yours? What do you think of them? I think I haven't seen enough of the world. I don't recognize any of these. That's because they all were driven to extinction by the Everwar. How? Since we first learned to use magic, We've waged war over who would control it. It isn't meant to be used so violently and so unchecked and for so long. The natural world suffers for it. Their habitats die. Their waters are ruined. Their skies are choked. Their lands are crystallized or filled with hungry spirits they can't compete with. Our magic causes ruin for every living thing, Jack. It causes the wound. We cause the wound? I told you that we draw magic from the ley lines, from the shrouded realm. To be more precise, we siphon it to use as we will. And it stays here, but it's not meant to. And no one's ever discovered how to actually put it back. It punches its way back down. All that magic over all that time. And so the wound grows. But without magic... We can't win the war to control magic. Correct. 
So we're destroying Avium while we're trying to save Avium? That's the secret. This secret sucks. It's insane. Does Sandrak know this? Of course he does. All the Orders do. Then why the hell are we fighting? Everyone needs to just stop. You want to be the first side to quit? Because you trust Sandrak that much. Because mankind can always be counted on to do the reasonable thing. I've wanted to wield magic my whole life. And now you're telling me I... <laughs> You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. Then we start thinking about how to fix the wound. You don't win in ever war. It's brick walls like that make you take up painting in your spare time. Isn't there something else th that we can do about it, I mean? Yes. Go to that spell altar. What spell will it grant me? One that hopefully eases your conscience. Reckless, overtaxed, and broken magic often leaves corruption behind. You grew up with it in Saren, the deposits that would accumulate in the Underbridge. There, it's a nuisance. But larger, more malignant versions exist. Part of the Immortals' mandate is to restore those areas of the world overrun with this corruption. That spell is the key. Restore them with magic. The same magic that causes it, and oh yeah, also the wound. The irony isn't lost on anyone. In the meantime, you have more pressing concerns. Zendara's waiting for you in the war chamber to brief you on a mission. Really? Please don't say she's my field commander. Run along. Your field commander's waiting. Clock's ticking. Yes, sir. Uh, you do outrank me, right? I, uh, wow, this place is kind of big. I uh, must have gotten lost. <laughs> Intel indicates that the Hand is operating near the Pale Forest, and we've just lost contact with our outpost there. What's so important about the forest? Strategically, nothing. The Leyline Tower there has been dead for a hundred years. And yet she's taking a big risk attacking so close to the Palathon. You still with me, Initiate? Not an Initiate. That's not even a rank. Y you know, I checked. Nightblades have established a stronghold at the southern edge of the forest. We'll attack on both sides. We? Are you coming? I mean, what about Devin? Devin is needed elsewhere. And Kirkin seems to think you might not get me killed. Jury's still out on that one. Sure, thanks. Don't leave the portal open for me or anything. Guess I'm walking. Hello, immortal. Kirkan told me you know our, um, secret. About magic causing the wound? That we're all destroying Avium? She sure did. Yeah, bit of a gut punch, that one. This restoring spell. It really cleanses the Lurge. Uh, that's what we used to call it in Saren. Lurge? What an absolutely perfect name. Lurge. Yes, it works. And you'll feel better about the whole thing when you use it. Trust me.
forest entrance, sir. Good. I'm approaching from the east. Our target is the Leyline Tower. Scouts have spotted activity in that area. I thought you said it was dead. What does the hand want with it? That's the question. And it's just us? No backup or anything? We're immortals, Initiate. We don't need backup. Report. The outpost. Wiped out. None of our people made it, sir. The Nightblades have set up wards throughout the forest to slow our advance. We'll need a construct to get past those. And I forgot to pack one. Great. I spotted one of their lieutenants in a grove near my position. We're tracking him now. Do what you can to push forward, initiate. Yes, sir. This one controls the construct. We needed to break the wards and reach the tower. <laughs> Something funny. You walk towards your doom. Doom and I are old friends. The construct. Bind it to us, and I may let you live. You already know my answer. Short conversation, then. Wait, what? The control crystal uses green magic. I think I can bind it to myself. You're wasting your time, little magician. Quiet! If you think you can do it, do it. Easy. Some Triarch shit right there. Well done. He was a prisoner. Not anymore. He was helpless. Rasharnians are never helpless. I just saved him the trouble of trying to kill us later. The Hand of Sandrak. That's her ship. It's moving away from the Leyline Tower. Back on mission, Initiate. Take the Construct. I'll try to intercept her. Okay, I guess I'm following you. Cool. So I'm Jack. Do, uh, do you have a name? Nothing, huh? Okay. I'll just call you Construct, then. Zendara said the Construct could open the ward. Good job, buddy. If you see any of your old pals, attack on sight, okay? Like these guys.
Okay, where to now? Another altar. somehow. Starting to worry about you, sir. The airship won't be bothering us again. But the hand wasn't aboard, so keep your eyes open. What's your position? Cleared out the tower courtyard. Heading up to the top. Stay put. I'm almost there. Yeah, well, I, I don't see an off switch on this lift, so. Stay put. Show yourself, font of Yonkau. I draw you forth through the power of Thradako, the binding stone. We've got a problem. What is it? More like who? Sandrax here. What? Hold your position. I'm on my way. He'll be gone by then. That was an order, Initiate. Say again? <laughs> I'm losing you. You do know I can just see you waving your hand around, right? An immortal? Welcome, brother. Do you know who I am? Sandrak. I suppose Kirkin has poisoned you against me by now. She didn't have to. Your men killed my family. Did they? I have no memory of that. A great many people have died in this war. Would it comfort you to know that I'm close to ending it? Don't turn your back on me! Send him to his family. I need more time to finish this. Let me give you a hand. Hey, stop!
is this place? Wait, this is the Shrouded Realm. Uh oh, is that the Pentasod? Sandrak and the Hand vanished when I arrived. He cast some kind of spell. I, I tried to stop him. You were supposed to wait for me, Initiate. The Ley Line, he... He absorbed it. I don't understand. I saw something. Saw what? When his spell was cast, I... I left m my body. I, I went somewhere else. Out with it. I saw the Pentasod. It, it's... alive. Sir, we should talk. Up there, Sandrak referred to me as... a brother. And not like, oh, hey, look, it's another Magnus, but more like... Like someone from his order. Exactly. Complicated subject. One I'm not gonna get into here. You're not going to explain how Sandrak is an immortal. Was. You're not going to explain how Sandrak was an immortal. Thought I made that clear, Initiate. That's something Kirkin will talk to you about when she thinks it's right. So what about... Pretty please tell me when, why, how Sandrak was an immortal? That might fly with Kirkin, sure. Give it a try. I meant with y You know what? Never mind. I should just go. Wait a minute. Listen. About your vision. Of the Shrouded Realm. I wanted you to know something. Yeah. The Pentasod. It is alive. All we ever see here, in this world, in our world, is only the physical manifestation of its true form in the Shrouded Realm. In Kalthus, our mystics say this form visits them in dreams in the winter. In other parts of Avium, prophets, saints, madmen, have all claimed to have seen it at one time or another. So I'm a saint, is what you're saying? I just wanted you to know that you're not- That I'm not special? No worries, sir. Kirkin lets me know that all the time. Can you ever shut up? I'm saying you don't have to feel alone, Jack. I don't want you to feel like you might become a pariah. People that have visions of the Pentasod sometimes fear that will happen. All right, I'll meet you back at the Palathon. Sandrak absorbing a ley line isn't something we're even remotely prepared for. Kirkin will be eager to talk. Take up a position at the table, Initiate. There's a lot to talk about. Any of these possible font shapes look familiar? None, sir. The amount of unfamiliar we're dealing with makes me what? Cranky and unforgiving, sir. Problem with looking for shapes to describe them is that, well, the observer gives the shape to the font when they see it. Says who? No. He's right. The Pentad said who? And no one here is going to argue with them, are they? No because they started to stretch themselves into infinity, trying to work out every conceivable mathematical shape a font might take, and then shing, the Pentadi get launched into a different dimension. Like a cosmic slingshot made up of unhealthily preoccupied accountants. <laughs> You're tiptoeing around blasphemy, Devon. <sighs> Why the civilized world insists on using the Pentad calendar as standard, knowing what happened to them, it just, it just vexes me to no end is what it does. Thaddeus said, the fonts were two cans of invisible and three times that the heartache for looking. Yeah, I don't... what? Thaddeus said things. I'd like to remind everyone that Sandrak is most likely now capable of magic. On a mythic scale! Oh, is that why we're here? See, sir? Very cranky. I know it's uncharacteristic of me to advise focus. I blame my present nervousness.
Sounds like Zendara filled you in, sir, but I've got about a million questions. Story time, Jack. And I used to really love story time. The Shrouded Realm is a world of raw, untempered magic. A magic so formless and wild, it's impossible to master. Yeah, I think I've been there. Then the Pentasad came to that world and created the fonts. Five great anchors that connected the Shrouded Realm to Avium. The ley lines spread out from these fonts, traveling through both worlds, turning the Shrouded Realm's magic into a resource we could use. If someone could capture the power of a font, they'd control magic in a way that no Magnus has before. Like a living ley line tower, capable of drawing magic from the very source, capable of even redirecting it away from other Magni. Sandrak has done exactly that. We believe he's in possession of a Thrata Cull, a binding stone, an artifact that can control the fonts. So that's what I saw the hand pull out of the ruins. That's right. With it, Sandrak will eventually be able to block our access to magic completely. Then the Everwar is over. Over? As in he takes over Lucium? As in he takes over everything. Sir, respectfully and whatever, you're wrong. Excuse me? Oh boy. You said it yourself. Magic is a resource. Just because Sandrak absorbed a font or whatever doesn't mean his power is endless. It's just that it's probably ginormous. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. We can take it back and then... I bring you good news, sister. Peace is near. Allow me to let you witness it. A small kindness between friends. If you would have it. We were just discussing what the best response would be to your desecration of the fonts. Had you yet concluded you have none? Let us meet at Nosea to discuss the terms of your surrender. I hear now you speak for your king. So there should- <clears throat> <clears> Chat! <throat> the boy does not know me. You have my word. The traditions of Aristea will be upheld. Without violence. I see a Lucium that genuinely survives this part of history. Can you? Well, that was horrible. Course of action? Devin, make sure every last trace of them is really gone. Zendara, I need you to speak to the Watch Commanders. We're meeting Sandrak at Nosea. We're outgunned. Not outfought. Not yet. Jack, let's talk. Is Zendara right? We're going to actually walk into Sandrak's trap. It's not a trap. Sandrak fashions himself after the nobility of Aristea. He'll honor the tradition of Nosea as neutral ground. Sir, I know you don't plan to surrender. Not even a little bit. We'll take him by surprise, hit him with everything we got, and hope the power of that binding stone of his is found wanting. Okay, so it's our trap then. The Immortals can't let Sandrak take control of magic, Jack. We have to take our chances. Speaking of the Immortals and Sandrak, and Sandrak having been an Immortal and you never telling me, your fellow Immortal... I figured this was coming. There's not a lot of time here. Safe to say, it's better if we table it. I had a right to know. You recruited me the day Sandrak destroyed my home. I've been fighting against Rasharn ever since you told me. What difference would it have made? I don't know, but how do you benefit by constantly keeping secrets from me? 
You could have told me about the fonts long before any of this. You could have told me how using magic destroys the world before training me. I you joined the army, Jack, not the academy. You only needed to know what helped you in the field. I don't feel that's a good enough answer, sir. I'm sure you can live with it for the time being. If we survive Nosia, we can talk about it again. Now, a few pieces need to fall into place for this ambush to work. I need you to take this to Captain Selko. A portal stone? Any message to go along with it? Selko will know what to do. You'll find him in Lordsfell along with a battalion of our soldiers. Understood. I'll head out now. So, uh, Kirkin didn't say what that thing does. Probably better you don't know, sir. Is it, though? If you got captured. Sure, sure. It's just, if I knew the whole plan, it could be helpful, since I'm, like, part of the plan. Am I right? You have a point. You aren't going to tell me, are you? Nope. Great. See you around, Captain. Jack, Kirkin's asking for an update. I delivered the portal stone to Captain Selko. What's next? Rendezvous with the rest of us at Nosia. Our parlay with Sandrak is imminent. Parlay? What? Never heard anyone actually use that word. It's the nerves. Uh-huh. See you soon. Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know. This all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. <laughs> I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirkin that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can! With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war? By turning the rest of us defenseless? In our every meeting, the yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko! You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound! He's moving it! We have to go! Now! Fall back! Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. Took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. 
How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkhan's left for Lavenry to talk with the king. He wants a false surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkhan's emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that. Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one. And the other is in the Tower of Masks in Rishar. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts. But the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. Pin that. We concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Hmm. Sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a shroud frame in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nosea. They're hard for me to pass, honestly my feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell and I'll tell you where we go from there. Next, I've got the spell I need to ride the ley lines. Splendid. The ley line we need to get to Oriman is close by. Heading your way then.
Some view, huh? If magical post-apocalyptic vistas are your thing. What the hell happened out there? The Gateront. Mix stupid ideas with bold, magical experiments and blow your own kingdom to pieces. Wait, they did it to themselves? Indeed. So, the mission. Go to the archives at the library of Akoth in Oriman. See if we can find any trace of Thaddeus and find out if he knows anything about the Binding Stone. You ready to leave now? Or do you want to go over other mission intel? So the Gatteron, huh? All I'd heard about Ormen was that they gave up fighting in the Everwar, what, 20 years ago? More or less. They basically ground themselves to sand. They didn't so much give up as vanish awkwardly from the stage. What happened? A populist faction with a fiery name that I can't remember took over the Ormic government. They advocated for an equal ownership of magic, not just between Magni, but among the Lightless as well. They believed that by distributing magic evenly, the world would finally be able to work towards an end to the Everwar. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, look where it got them. I, uh, maybe? Part of me absolutely can. Dynastic magical traditions, thousands of years old, versus some upstart idea of shared magic that results in the destruction of roughly a fifth of the continent? I'll trust my overly stringent forebearers. Thank you very much. Back at the Palathon, it felt like you really wanted to tell me something about Thaddeus, but Zendara wouldn't let you. He's a touchy subject. And Zendara's very protective of Kirken. She'd be happy if we never talked about him at all. Thaddeus and Kirken, they hate each other, more or less. You know about our secret duty as stewards of Lucia? The Immortals' mandate and such? Yeah. I poke around. I snoop. Tremendous deficit of character, I know. Evidently, there's another more deeper, extreme version of that mandate that only the Grand Magnus and their immediate confidence know about. Some task they're expected to do at some point. Turns out Thaddeus resigned as Grand Magnus and exiled himself before doing this super secret thing. Whatever it is. I think I'm good to go. After you. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I could get used to that. Give me a portal any... Day. There's a very high vomit probability for me right now. Suck it up, buddy. We need to get to- Jack! Jack, this is Devin. Thanks for the assist. Uh, well, what's your name? Kenzie. You're Lucians, aren't you? Also, Immortals. Just to be clear. Is that a literal thing? What? No, uh, we can die. It's just like... Good. Then stay back. Hey, 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 watch it. Jack, I may have neglected to mention that the Ormic are notoriously territorial underneath their bohemian facade. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a pampered classist jackboot masquerading as some champion of justice. <clears throat> Look, we're just looking for someone that was here a little bit ago. I love neo-anarchist Pablum as much as the next weak need revolutionary. But I think we can both admit it loses its luster when it ultimately results in the destruction of your entire kingdom. That's not what happened. You imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry. I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity-challenged rocks. Maybe the next wrong-headed egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well... Jack? I mean, I can't say no. Look, how about we table the culture clash for a bit, huh? We came here on a mission to keep Sandrak from winning the Everwar. 
Maybe you can help us. Who? You know what? Scratch that. It's not like I care who wins that stupid war. The sooner someone does, the sooner you can all get out of Ormon. You... You don't know who Sandrak is. Nope. But I figure since you're Lucian, he's from Asharn. Same thing, really. Different flags. Same oppressive totalitarian magic-hoarding police state. Am I doing it right? Unhelpful. You're on your own. Mind the road. These chronicler constructs are everywhere. Started spilling out of the library months ago. And you'll be happy to know that there are plenty of Rasharnians around, too. You can keep trying to prove which one of you has the right to determine the lives of the rest of us. Hey, wait up. We really are here to save the world. Let her go. With the Rasharnians and these chroniclers about, we really could use someone that knows the territory. I'll catch up with her and... Be nicer? Good plan. You push forward to the library and we'll meet you there. She'll come around. Jack, I caught up to our favorite radical, who, it turns out, still wants nothing to do with me. Super. So she bailed again. She did. But I managed to learn that the Sky Librarians built the Chronicler constructs to serve as assistants in some great undertaking that ultimately went pear-shaped. By which I mean the constructs killed them all in a bloody uprising. Everyone? So there's no one at the library to ask about Thaddeus. And yet you'll persevere. For my part, I'm going to hunt down and destroy as many of the Chroniclers as I can. They're too close to the Lucian border for my liking. Copy that. Meet me at the library when you can. Dissolving the big metal, uh, nodes clears patches of it up. Good to know. Devin, I keep coming across some weird swirling metal material. Any idea what it is? I've seen it before. Constructs often take their embedded instructions and improve on them to do their jobs better and faster. Sometimes they leak those instructions. It comes out of them like, uh, metallic sweat. You mean, learning? They leak learning. Sure. Invariably, it bubbles out and just makes a mess. Constructs are usually broken down before it happens. The fact that there's so much, well, leakage around here means these chroniclers have probably become very, very smart. Find a way inside. I think so. Right behind a big-ass pile of that mine metal shit. The Chroniclers blocked it off. Why? How would I know? I'll try to clear a path.
Again, with this. My friend put an invisible ward on the lock that'll blow your hand clean off. We didn't want the chroniclers down here, or thieves, or spies from another... He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah. My friend is the interesting bit, wouldn't you say, Jack? Invisible wards are a pretty complex bit of business to conjure up. Also, please put that down. Nice craftsmanship, by the way. Surely it's not local. Your friend wouldn't be named Thaddeus, would he? Why, you here to kill him? What? No. Why would you think that? Thaddeus said some Lucian assassin goons might turn up looking for him. Said he ran afoul the downright tyrannical bylaws their order of magic swears by. Thaddeus led that order. He was an immortal. Before he decided to abandon his post, that is. Does he really talk like that? Look, we just want to talk to the guy. Can you take us to him? Please? Thaddeus isn't here. Abandon that post, too. Come on. He left some things behind that might help you. Look at us! Friends now! United through the sense of abandonment by an authority figure. Thaddeus is a real asshole, you know that, right? He said he was gonna help me restore the library, that we'd figure out a way to clear all the chroniclers out. And we almost did it. Right up until he found the archives down here. Why'd he leave? Never really cared to find out. What kind of trouble was he in with you guys? I mean, I know that Lucium's pretty... Never mind. It was before our time. She was going to say fascist. Lucium's fascist. Is that why you and Thaddeus hit it off out here in the anti-conformist frontier? Horman was a commune, jackass. That's as conformist as you can get. Magic was shared by everyone here, not just those that made sure they were born with it. We're here. Thaddeus was, uh... Messy. Maybe something here will tell you where he went. Aha! This is his last journal, and I really have to say thank heavens for multiply underlined map coordinates. He says he's going to Pentac 4.5 to, um, 357. That's in Caldus, right around... Oh no. He went to Mount Dresnia. Assuming he got past the Rashanians, and assuming he got past the Underdwell. Past the Magic Eaters. The Alori. It's said a very large contingent of them make the Underdwell their home. <laughs> this is madness, Jack. We can't go there. We're Magni. The Alori will kill us on the spot. A lot of good eating on a madness. Sandrak's still out there with the Binding Stone. And Thaddeus may be the only one that knows how to stop him. We're assuming Thaddeus is alive. Well, you are. I most definitely think he's extra dead. We don't have a choice. Well... <laughs> If you're really going to risk walking into a den of magic-hungry demons, I can take you to a ley line that'll lead you directly to Kalthus. All right, let's do it. Devin, you stay here. Hunt down the rest of the chroniclers getting too close to Lucium. You can catch up with me later. Will do. Be careful, Jack. Thanks for your help, faithless rebel. Anything to get you off my islands, bootlicker. For real, though, we appreciate it. I know you'd rather stay out of all this, but I've seen Sandrak absorb a ley line and move the wound. No one can afford to ignore the Everworn now. Just watch me. It's sad that you're caught up in it all, because you're really hot. Good luck finding the old man. To Kalthus. Sir, I've reached Kalthus and I'm en route to Mount Dresnir by way of the Underdwell. Say, you're from around here. What do you know about the Alori? They're elder demons that the Old Kingdoms banished into the Earth. They feed on magic and really, really mad night. So, about the same as everyone else knows. They're a threat to the natural order initiate. 
cursed by the Pentasad to live out their poisonous existence in the clutch of a hungry darkness. Is that better? I'd workshop it. So, what am I looking for exactly? Just look for a mining operation, smartass. It was abandoned once they accidentally dug into the Alori Caves and got... eaten. Eaten? Awesome. Devin, I've made it to the Underdwell. No sign of Thaddeus yet, or the Alori. The fact that you can even use your Barkle Stone bodes well for you. An Alori absorbs all magic around it like a horrible walking sponge. It's no wonder the Magni dynasties drove them underground long ago. They are... ghastly. You aren't exactly reassuring me here. Steady on, Immortal. Jack? Report in. Hello? Jack? Jack? Dev? Dev! Some kind of settlement. It looks like I gotta get down there. Dev, can you hear me? I can, for the moment. I'm in some kind of Alori temple, I think. There are these murals everywhere with the Penasad in them, and that feels kind of weird. Thaddeus mentioned in his journals that the Alori held an odd veneration of it. Really? You have any guesses as to why? Just because they absorb our magic and love to devour us whole, does that necessarily preclude them from idolizing the very embodiment of magic? That said, I wouldn't spend too long trying to deepen your understanding of a Lori art, Jack. You should just... Devin! Damn it! I don't understand. Ah! Yeah, I don't understand. That's what you sound like. Soft and squeaky meat. Goat mouth. You talk like fear with its pants too tight. I think they look good. Ah! Exciting day for you. Name's Rook. Jack. You think we can talk without you, you know, throwing me around, Rook? You gotta understand, it takes a minute for all this to congeal, to see you clearly. Communication with humans and effort when we come from two different parts of existence. I'll get there. Point is, though, it's dangerous for you here. A large and terrible part of me hates you to the bone. Hundreds and thousands of years pouring into that part. Yeah, I don't know what to do with all that, considering you just saved my life. Why didn't you try to eat me like your buddies? I don't need the heat that might come down on us if we killed one of you fancy order magni. Same reason I didn't do your friend in. Who? You're looking for that wizard. I see the connection. Uses his as an ashtray now. Real put-upon face, this guy. Thaddeus? Can you take me to him? Could do. Give me a cigarette. Help yourself, I guess. Hmm. We're agreed. You owe me one. For the save back there. Sure. Yeah. Sounds fair. 
the bill'll come due. Double if I take you to your boy Thaddeus, which I will. If you tell me a thing, how long are we supposed to hold it against you? I don't... I... hold what? <clears throat> okay, I think the old... Uh, <whistles> needs a few more minutes in the oven. Forever! That's the word you're looking for. Forever's how long you'll be unforgiven. See? I told you I'd get there. I see you clearly now. Come on, let's go. No absolution for you till the sun goes out. Wizards this way. These favors I'm gonna owe you? Anything you have in mind? Still thinking on it. Got a whole colony to look after, gotta weigh some options. So you're like a special Lord. What? Like special than a head? No, no, no. I mean like... Like maybe you're their boss or something. Or something. You ain't got a word for it. You're just like that. He's all quizzical and shit. One question after another. All right, it's through there. I'll lead you out just in case one of my boys decides to jump you. Lead the way. Oh, wait. Before I forget, I can smell the lightless on you, too. Just wanted you to know. That was never supposed to happen. Sad that it did. Again, your fault, but still. What, Lightless becoming Magni? The Unforeseen aren't supposed to happen? No. You were all supposed to be Magni. That's how the Pentasad wanted it. So what did happen? You tell me. You went and done fucked it up somehow. The plan was magic for everyone. Maybe you just like it better this way. Humans do have a lot of trash ideas. So you see the Pentasod? It... it talks to you. Why? Is that supposed to be amazing or something? I know you've seen it too. Smells still stuck in your hair. You know, the amount of what you smell on me is starting to get really creepy. I didn't make the nose rules. So how do you... Uh, enter the shrouded realm? I got knocked out. Didn't feel, you know... Ideal. Never said I could. Me talking to the Pentasad was a long time ago. Let's go. You're shitting me. What? A lot of you wizards like lava. Who told you that? Thought it was a union thing. Anyway, that's his place. Hmm. What's that? Jack, can you hear me? I can hear you, Dev. I was just about to report in. Hello? You're breaking up. Is your Farkle stone working? Hello? Do you mind? Oh, that's much better. You must be out of the Underdwell, then. You'll have to tell me all about it and those dreadfully atrocious Alori creatures. Are they terrified of you now? Jack, hero of Yilthium Fields, Magnus and Shh, the shut scourge up. Shh, of the Underdwell. Oh. Stay back, demon spawn, have at thee! Uh, what's happening? I don't like this. Ah! I found that is and we'll get back to you, bye. Rook, hey, look, I'm sorry about my friend. Really, he's not like that. Sounded just like that. World's no different than it's ever been. Friends say a lot about you, kid. Give my regards to Thaddeus. Oh! A lava path. Who does this? Thought it was a union thing. I swear, if Daddyus isn't home. Yes.
Yes, you're paying for this mess. I hope you got an inheritance coming. This is one of them for the rest of your natural born life type debts right here. I, uh, I really didn't mean to blow up your porch and whatever this room is supposed to be. I, I just came here to talk. My name's Jack. It's called a parlor, Jack, where you entertain guests. Would have done anyway, had I any actual burning desire to ever have guests. I need some coffee in here. I'm gonna box your ears, I swear. You want any? That'd be great. I really am sorry. I wish none of this had happened. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. What's a horse? I don't know. Never seen one. Died out in the early parts of the war. That's what you're here about, right? I don't need a horse. No, dummy. The war. You a deserter? You look scared. What? No, I'm... Why would you think that? Some men's eyes. They got a little bunny in them. Yours do. Hopping around. Maybe not always. But right now. Something's got you scared out of your mind. We're going to lose the war. No one knows how to stop Sandrak, and... I'm afraid of what comes after. You should be. What he's done to Saren, to Kelthus, he wins. That's what he'll do to everyone. So how's he doing it? Snuffing out the fonts. You know about that? Kid, I got scry stones in every damn corner of Avia. You start seeing ley lines winking out in all the wrong places, gives you pause. If I had to guess, the world's poorer by about three fonts. Three? He got to another one? Oh, yeah. As soon as the font in Rasharn went dark, he must have beelined for the one in Kelthus. His occupation would have made it easy pickings. They're not really gone. Sandrax absorbed their power using some kind of artifact of Aristea. A binding stone, a throttocol. That's why I'm here. The Immortals believe you're the only one that might know what the stone really is. So, uh, Kirkin still hate me? I've heard she's not a big fan of yours, but, I mean, she's never mentioned you to me. Well, you gotta be new then. No, I've been her student for five years now. Well, she must be working up to it. This binding stone of yours looked like this otherwise innocent bit of business, yeah? Yeah. It's that bad? Walk with me. Easier just to show you. Calm your tits. Won't hurt none, promise. How are you doing this? With Ganesh? It's called a mind walk. A trick I picked up in Rasharn back in the day. This is Rasharnian magic? What about it? Some of the most elegant and creative Magni alive. Oh, don't let King Dipshit and his Confederates spoil a barrel. Let me show you some history. This is Avium in the time of Aristea. A thousand years and some change ago. The wound? It's... small. Yep. Just a teensy thing back then. We Magna hadn't gone buck wild yet. Aristea brought out the worst in us. And it's all because of this thing. A binding stone. They used it to commune with the fonts. And some idiot decided to use it to control them instead. Let's just say things got out of hand. Sandrak's doing the same damn thing. History proves the secret. What are we looking at here? The place they built the binding stone, called a Shrine Forge. Suspected somewhere in Eastern Orman. You've got to give me something better than that. What if I could, son? Orman's a damn big place. It doesn't help that it blew itself up some 20 odd years ago. Now, unless you got more questions, we can head back.
the bay. So that's the big secret of how Aristea fell. Just one more casualty of the Ever War. The lure of the Binding Stone was too much. We see magic, Jack. We eventually get greedy. Can't help ourselves but to sink down to our basest nature. Even the mighty Aristea could only keep its head up for a year or two. A year or two? Their ruins are everywhere, a whole cities of them. And they were way more advanced than ours. Th that can't be right. Aristea, the bastion of high learning and magical ingenuity, capable of miracles uncountable, their magna demigods among men. Yeah, that what you're talking about? Well... Don't know what to tell you, kid. Getting too close to magic it turns us all dead stupid. It's like the Everwar is our natural state of being, despite everything you've been told. Aristeo was just a blip. When the Aristea used the Binding Stone to commune with the Fonts, what happened? They all about turned into little penisons in a matter of days. Spread their new magic know-how like brush fire until they were pulling cities out of the ground like it was nothing. Bunch of idiots. Who cares that it was causing the wound to grow at an exponential rate? Oh, they'd fix that later. Fix it later. <laughs> we haven't changed. Not one inch. I need to get back to the Palathon. Tell them what I found out. Fair enough. Wait a minute. You feel that? Feel what? Someone's in here with us. Hold on. Stay out of my way, Jack. Get down, kid! Ah! No! Son of a bitch! I'm not leaving you here. I'm done for, kid. She was in our minds. She gets away, Sandrak will know y'all are gonna go after the Shrine Forge. Gotta catch her. Please don't be you. How are you alive? No, don't. Why didn't you try to find me? Don't do that. Do what? Ask me a question you won't accept the answer to. How can you be with them? That's the one. I can't believe it. Jack, report in, soldier. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here, sir. I, um, I, I found out the Binding Stone was created in a shrine for us somewhere in eastern Oromon. No exact location, but it's a start. Bad news is, I think Thaddeus died helping us find that out. 
I'm sorry, sir. I know you two were close. Don't blame yourself. I, uh... I had a tail. Sandrak will know we're coming for the Shrine Forge. That just means we'll come heavy. Return to the Palathon for mission planning. I see how it is. You're not going to even ask if I'm okay or explain why my bloody face got pulled through a Farkle stone or how you're evidently pals with an Alori now. Buddy, since I set out on this mission, I've had my politics questioned, my pants criticized, told my eyes were full of bunnies, and... And what? Oh, it's... nothing. It's... just been a lot, you know? We'll catch up when I get back. of Eastern Oriman is an endless desert. We'll never find the Shrine Forge this way. I'll switch back to the islands just above the Tempest Lair. The conquering hero returns. Hey, hero. See if you can make out anything but sand. Really with this? Already? Why are we looking at sand? Thaddeus gave me the history of Sandrak's Binding Stone. As you say, sir, it's some real end-of-time shit. The Aristea couldn't survive it. So our chances are on the wrong side of zero. Before he died, Thaddeus told me that the Shrine Forge used to create this Binding Stone was... Under all that sand. Maybe. He didn't specify whether it was on the surface, which is completely blasted by magical fallout, or the islands above, which stretch out forever west. Wait a second. Did you say Thaddeus died? Yeah. Um... The Hand of Sandrak was following me, had a team of Nightblades with her, and... and... What matters now is that we have a location for a location, and that's better than yesterday. We find this Shrine Forge, we're one step closer to finding some weakness in Sandrak's hold over the Binding Stone. I'll break out our scrying records on Rasharnian troop movements in Oriman within the last year. You know, they say one after effect of being inside a massive volcano is dehydration. I'm just tired. Get some rest. Narrowing down this search to anything actionable is likely to take all night. I might have an idea on how to shorten that. This was extraordinary work, Initiate. Thank you, sir. Jack, hold up! Is alive. What? What am I supposed to do with that? How are you even alive? Story for another day. It's the mind walk, isn't it? The spell went crazy, and now you and I can do this. I think so. How much can you see? Nothing, really. I see you, and the rest is just colors that can't hold their shape. I can only hear you, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't spy on you or sneak into your war room. No, no, it's not that. I kind of just wanted you to see this room. The one they gave me, it's, I mean, it's crazy awesome. Super big. When you look glum like that, it reminds me of when the Upbridge gang stole your shoes. <laughs> Don't. Don't bring up Saren. Not like that. Tell me, have you ever seen the color Salamine? It only exists in Rashan. It's one of the first things I noticed when they took me here. Just stop, Luna. Rashan doesn't have its own colors. But it really does. Come visit me. You'll see. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? Because I miss my best friend. I want you to see what I've done here, who I am now. I have that farm I always used to talk about, can you believe Sharn it? Sharn almost killed you, Luna. 
I, I thought they did. For years. I, I thought you were dead. It's like when you nap too long out in the sun. When you open your eyes, everything's kind of blue, but all mixed in. Imagine that, and put a pearl inside. That's what the color Salomon looks like. You don't get it, do you, Jack? All you are is angry. I'm trying my best not to get angry. Angry that the next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. I just wanted us to talk and forget about that for a minute or two. Luna, wait! Shine, friend. Kirka needs everyone in the war chamber. Did we find the Shrine Forge? We might be close. I brought in a specialist to help crack the case. A specialist in Shrine Forges? No. In Oriman. Are they named Kenzie? Up and at him, sleepyhead! I was just taking Kenzie here to meet Zendara. I predict they'll get along famously. Uh, wait, 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 not yet. Wait for me. Can you believe it? The Anarchist has set aside her disgust of military institutions long enough to help us out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still plenty of disgust. Would you two cut it out? They're waiting for us. Now, Kenzie, I appreciate our verbal fencing about the rabble's pillow-fisted outrage against the gentry, but the very large one there? She's actual royalty, so maybe not so much. Maybe none. Hmm? Look, I'm here because I want the Rasharnians out of my home, not to make nice with some princess that thinks she... Oh, my. I see. So it's all eat the rich until someone gets the vapors. Welcome to the Palathon, Kenzie of the Sky Tribes of Oramin. The Kingdom of Lucium is grateful for any help that you can give us. You bet. Are you scrying the entirety of Oramin at the same time? You'd need hundreds of scrying constructs to pull this off. Thousands. No wonder the rest of the kingdoms think Lucians are always lurking in the shadows. The amount of border alliance and fractions here is... <sighs> even for wartime. Yep, it really is an impressive feat of modern arcano engineering, but moving right along... You mispronounced invasive. Hm. When's the last time Oramin even pretended to be at wartime? You're looking at her. It's okay, Zendara. Kenzie's right. I'll submit a formal apology to Oramin's High Council the next time they convene at Nosia. In case you hadn't heard, Sandrak destroyed Nosia, so she's being... I heard. Oh, so you did catch the shade. Very good. You're looking in the Tempest Slayer? That's the wrong place. Those islands are the newer ones. You gotta look underneath, where the first islands were dislodged. We checked. There are no Aristean ruins on the surface of those. Who said anything about the surface? The Aristea love an underground temple. Flip it. You're shitting me. See? I did have a good idea. Bringing her in, I mean. Ley lines are too unstable in that storm. And they will have powered down their portals. There's only one way we say hello. Get prepped for a combat drop. You heard the Grand Magnus. Grab your gear and head to the airship docks. I'll tell Captain Selko it's go time and to have his Lance of Strikers ready. So, what should I do? Shall we save you a seat on the assault craft? <laughs> no, still not my war. Ah, well, um, there's a very nice gift shop on level 10. Nope, level 10 disappeared again. It keeps overlapping with that northeastern change wind from Myopole. Takes a vacation whenever it does. Well, that's too bad. You could have gotten your own Immortals replica badge, Kenzie. Hold up! Iopole the moon? Iopole? Our stewards are looking into it. Gotta find Soko. Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oraman? Just give the word, sir. 
Her hull's watered against the worst the Tempest Lair can throw at us. We'll swing you in for a clean drop to the Shrine Forge. No time to lose. Let's go. recognize this place. Daddy has showed it to me. There's got to be some kind of theoretical making machine thing here. Probably inside. And this machine will show us a weakness to the Binding Stone? In theory. So we don't know what to do once we're inside. I figured we'd improvise. You mean you would improvise? That entrance is blocked by a triarch ward. You're the only one going in. Lucky I'm here, sir. I'll get the portals powered back up for a return trip. Figure out how to destroy the Binding Stone, and let's get out of here. Talking about someone else, you're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a Binding Stone or a Mark. I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it, or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war! If he found a way to use the Pining Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. I guess. Did you figure it out? Please say yes. Yeah, we're uh, we're good to go. With this, I can destroy the Binding Stone. We just have to get close enough to Sandrak. How do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is? This mark gives me a connection to the Binding Stone. I can feel where it is. I can feel where Sandrak is. He's moving east. 
towards the deep near. There's a font in the ocean. Sounds like it. All right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. What's the place, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit. See if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirken. She'll figure out our next steps. But when you use that mark to destroy the Binding Stone, I want to be there. I want to see Sandrak's face when you just crumble it in his hand. There's no way he'll see it coming. Right. Getting ahead of myself. That'll be all, Initiate. Now head back to the Palathon. Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. Sir? Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I'm sure you understand. I was hoping for more than a summary. You know, for us to talk about it. It will have to do. I don't like to talk about Sandrak. Because I don't like remembering him as a friend. We fought alongside each other for 30 years, Jack. I depended on him. Would have given my life for his. And all of that is gone. It does me no good to relive it. To let it in, I might also invite a mercy where I can have none. Come, show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the Deep Mirror, but his movements are weird, erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devin will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Claylish Traders Guild provided us with a colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is, using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. You've been hiding anything and everything about Sandrak being an immortal since day one. I deserve more than a report you wrote up. Tell me, Jack. If you had a very close friend that you shared a common cause with for the longest time, a vision of what was right and true and good. And they betrayed that vision. Betrayed you. How would you feel? Would you want to talk about it? Could you talk about it? If the person you once knew became someone you could never now understand? Yes, absolutely. I'd have to know how it even got to that point. Sandrak and I were companion in arms for longer than you've been alive. We stood against the Kalthus Estates, the Sea King Usurper, the Colossals of the Arjaman Pretenders, even against Rasharn, his homeland. And then one day, he refused to participate in a mission that could have very well ended the war. What mission? Read the report. And we're back to that. Look, what's important? is that Sandrick had orders, and he allowed his own hubris to ignore them. He made a decision that jeopardized the rest of us because he thought he knew better. Ah, uh, yeah. Hubris sure is some bad news. It's terrible. For the breaking of his oath to the Order, I exiled him back to Rashan as punishment, thinking his ancestral enemies there would be the death of him. That last part didn't work out. Not even a little bit. 
All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl. Kenzie? She wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir. Initiate, come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should, uh... Get hammered! Yes. That. <laughs> On my way. I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Lights Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Roshanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father. My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the Turtle. Oh, I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, Hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, Initiate, to why I think the Unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too. You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more surprised. Another. Dead. Ugh. 
It's him, isn't it? Sandrak's moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen. I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill at beer pong. Wait, you were there? I, I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. Come to the docks over in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> See you soon. Does seasickness cancel out hangovers? Or is it more of an additive thing? Board, immortal. What's our bearing, sir? Can't give you anything precise, Captain, but north by northeast? Five knots. If Sandrak changes course, you'll be the first to know. Something wrong? Just the fact that this mission and the war hinges on something that we don't understand. At all. We'll catch him, sir. This was built by the Ajman. You sometimes forget that there were great civilizations of such marvelous invention before Aristea. What's up, Jack? So, uh, you went to university, right? I mean, duh, you were just all, this was built by the Ajman, and uh, I've never even heard of them. If there's one thing my father expected of me, it was to treat history like a type of scholastic jambalaya and just continue. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, I've read a lot of books, and um, I know my numbers and stuff like that. It's just... Uh, I don't think I've ever seen you so insecure, Jack. Is it the upcoming fight? No, no, no. Well, yeah, uh, kind of, maybe. Look, the thing is, Sandrak is super educated. You remember how he called me... In our every meeting, a yipping pup. I remember. Exactly. They In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Uh, do it again. But yeah, that's, you know, I want to say something like that to him, right? Like, we're fighting and I'm all, yeah, and you're old. But not like that, obviously. Oh, I see. Uh, an erudite put down. A deeply cutting tit to his tat. If that means what I think it does, then very much yes. Well, let's make one for you. Like you say, Sandrak's very old and he's... A stuffed shirt. Let's work on it. We'll give it right back to him. In our every meeting, uh, so and so. Blowhard? Buffoon? Windbag? Oh, buffoon's gonna hurt. It always does. But something before it. In our every meeting of what buffoon? Now, the old bit. Geriatric? Obsolescent? Fossil? Oh no, no, fossilized. Geriatrics kind of mean. That's the point, no? The world will forgive you. I think we've got it. Let's test it out. I'm Sandra. I'm... Wait, wait, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm Sandra, and I'm bursting with power, and I have that bored patrician look on my face, and I go something like... Fools for certain, there is no mercy, but of my white hot and brandy ache. Shut the fuck up, you geriatric buffoon! What do you think? Uh, I mean, just telling him to shut the fuck up is pretty good. He'll absolutely hate it. Huh. Yeah, I guess he would. And you really sell that part of it. 
Yeah, it feels good. Okay, thanks, Dev. Happy to help. Now, get up to the control room. I'll join you shortly. shouldn't underestimate them. They used to be your people too, remember? Sandrax already started binding the font. He'll be unstoppable when he's finished, and there's nothing any of you can do. Yeah, well, I've still got a trick or two up my sleeve. And you could help. You know I won't. And stop wasting my time. Waters back. He's draining the font. We gotta go. Now. Go! Devin can steer in my stead. We'll hold off the Rashanians. I'll do what <gasps> now? You are broken and you are bound, the dream of Kiladia. The fault of Aristea was thinking of you as anything more than a tool. He doesn't have any such mark, my dear. What? Stand down, brother. You could rejoice with me. The work is almost done. Or you could just shut the fuck up. Manners. Every moment of your life has existed in the orbit of my own. You cannot describe yourself without mentioning my name. I am the sole catalyst for your sense of purpose. There comes a time when any thrall buckles in their chains. But I never put them there. You see me as your enemy because I don't see you. A triarch. Kirkham was lucky to find me. Vija! Unforeseen. 
On your feet! We've gotta go now! The sea's collapsing on itself! Let it be your tomb! Or, how about yours? Gotta be. Maybe not dead exactly, but extremely inconvenienced. We lost the Binding Stone, Jack. Found it. Hey, where's Andara? Already flying back to the Palathon, I suspect. Or searching for some errant Rishanian harriers to pummel so she can work her aggressions out before speaking to Kirken. Wait, what? You're joking. You completely went against orders at the Shrine Forge, Jack. And you hid it from all of us. You made us look like fools. What? No, you mean the control mark? Sandrak's gone. We got the Binding Stone. Devin, we just won the war. Kirkan told you to destroy it, not bring it home. Devin, you cannot be serious right now. Just go, Jack. Kirkan's going to be positively beside herself with anger when she finds out what you did. You need to take this seriously. It will go over very badly. This is the front. The bulk of the Light's army musters there, ready for the big push. I've run through the war games countless times. When Sandrak had the Binding Stone, our chances were slim to none. All these soldiers, when you look at them, Jack, what do you see? <sighs> I, I know you want me to say I see loyalty or, or duty or something like that. All right, that way I can step into some irony or whatever you can use to... Look, I know you're using this as some kind of preamble to tell me you're angry with me. I am goddamn furious. I'm sorry. I got to the Shrine Forge and, and there was a choice I could make. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a choice. Who told you there was a choice? Zendara, you were as field commander. Did you get to the Shrine Forge and say, make it up as you go along? No, sir. Our objective was to figure out a way to destroy the Binding Stone. Then why is it in my war chamber, commander? I gave no indication that we were to deviate from that objective, sir. So you're telling me that you're unable to control your people? Is that it? Don't yell at her. I did it. Chain of command, Jack. And I'm getting to you. Okay, okay. If I can just say one thing. That right there is unnecessary with that right there. I got us control of the ultimate weapon. And we can roll right now into Rasharn by ourselves and force their surrender without firing a shot. Oh, you've got it all worked out. I didn't realize that. 
Am I the only one in the room that sees the last 24 hours as an unbelievable victory? I mean, what part of Ultimate Weapon don't you like? The part where it's a corrupted Aristean artifact, Jack. When we all know Aristean is really just another word for weapons from yesteryear that we are absolutely unprepared for. Maybe you're unprepared. And you aren't? When I found you, the only thing you were prepared for was exploding and taking the rest of Saren with you. The last time I talked with Sandrak, he pulled the same you wouldn't exist without me lecture you are. So you're a little late to the party, sir. You will go back to the Shrine Forge and get the mark you were ordered to in the first place. Can't do it. And then you will come back here and destroy this thing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm being for real. I, I can't. The machine, it, well, it, it broke. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Are you serious right now? I'm not. And I am. All right, and I can control it. Why can't you see that? You can't control it. No one can. What if Sandrak really isn't gone and he gets it back? What then? It stays here, under lock and key. Take it to the vault. You're making a mistake. Take it to the goddamn vault! see me at the scrying hub. Can it wait? I need some time to cool off. Perkin tore me a new one. No, it can't wait, Jack. Come see me right now. Okay, what's the big deal? You two, give us the room. Move! Room, seal and set scrying wards. Remember when Sandrak breached the Palathon that one time? What fun! And afterwards it was up to me to strengthen our security enchantments against Roshanian magic. Yeah? Well, they worked. Who the hell is Luna, Jack? Just stop, Luna. Roshan doesn't have its own colors. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? What is it? Some kind of spectral projection? The real question is, who are you communicating with? Wait, uh, are you spying on me? Are you spying on us? Is this Luna a Roshanian agent? No! Y yes, she, she, she grew up with me in Saren. She took care of us. Turns out... God, look, it's so messed up, Dev. Luna's... The friend you say is dead, which is very sad, but also very not true, because it turns out she's a Roshanian agent. Worse. She's the hand of Sandrak. Oh, do me a favor. I know, I know. I swear I was going to tell you. You already kind of knew. You noticed me looking at her in one of our briefings. She can hear our mission briefings? No, no. At least she says she can. And I believe her. Because when we mind link or whatever, I can't see or hear anything around her either. It's not... It's a, it's a corrupted spell, Devin, not some kind of covert intelligence device thing. I, I promise. Daddyus cast a Rasharnian spell. That's what you detected, so we could walk around in each other's heads, and she got in somehow. I, I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure what to do. I thought maybe I could convince her of something I hadn't come up with yet. All right, it, it's messy. But I was never going to let her hurt us. You said she killed Thaddeus. Well, I was never going to let her hurt us after that. Devin, come on. She didn't interfere in the deep mirror. She hasn't come after us since this whole mind fuckery stuff happened. And now that Sandrek's dead, we can stop it. Just stop. I think you should leave. Okay. I'll, uh, be in my room. The Palathon. You should leave the Palathon. This is bad, Jack. You're serious. Whatever I decide to tell Kirkin, I'll... I'll let you know beforehand. I... 
I don't know how to do this. We need to talk. Can you, uh, show up? Hey, kid. Fancy that. I was just about to reach out. Bet you some wires got crossed. Daddyus? Don't get spooked now. I ain't a ghost. Turns out... Something went wrong with your mind walk spell? Hey, now. That spell would've worked just fine if it weren't so rudely imposed upon. Now, I keep getting visions of you and that girl and then... Same here. Well, not with you. This is the first time with you. Well, I guess you just know everything about everything. I didn't know you were alive. I've been telling everybody you were killed. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. Sits me better that way, to be honest. I've been getting a little long in the shadow lately, and too many folks are starting to know where I'm getting to it. The hell? Sorry. Rook's on my ass about telling you to get over here. We need to talk about Sandrak. Man alive, would you shut up? I'm telling you, the kid's gonna be trouble. Huh? What kid? Your boy, Jack, the immortal. Oh, Who? The pants of hair. Oh, yeah. I'm getting old, Rook. No, I'm old. I remember when there was no I remember when humans first started getting all googly-eyed about magic. All right, all right, you're ancient. I'm still old. You know, what's your problem? Yeah. Brought the Everboard to my doorstep. No, now, see, Sandrax the one doing that. This Jack kid's doing his damnedest to stop it. It's a good egg, Rook. Still thinking. If I had a nail for every time I heard that one of your humans got delusions of grandeur so wide they thought they could actually end the Ever War, I'd have... Never said he was going to end the war. He said he was going to end Sandra. Go on. Then. Got enough nails to do what? I can't remember. Uh, carpentry thing, that's right. Look, it don't matter. I just want you to hear what I'm saying. This kid is going to cause us both a world of hurt. It took me and mine a long time to grab the Underdwell out from under the Kalth. Now I've got Rashanian sniffing around the edges. One day they're gonna decide it's not as dangerous as they'd heard and come right in. I suspect. I'm tired of my people dying to your people. Don't make me regret letting you take up residence here after your whole domestic quarrel back in Lucian. Look who finally decided to show. Hey, kid. Sit a spell. Gentlemen, it's good to see you alive, Thaddeus. Uh, how did you... How's her for later? We gotta talk. God damn. You've been to the Shrouded Realm again? Yeah. Every time I'm near a font when it gets absorbed, I just shift over there. Then I see the Pentasod and pow, I'm back. Huh. Pentasod must like you. It don't normally do that, as a general rule, crossing over as a one-way street. This absorbed font you're talking about, it happened to be where you think you saw Sandrak die? Rhetorical question, kid. It was. That's how Sandrak got himself into the Shrouded Realm. <coughs> uh, do what now? There was likely a tiny hole left there where the font was. A sliver lingering a bit between worlds. Probably crawled his mangy ass through it in the nick of time, lucky son of a bitch. Back up. What makes you think Sandrak went to the Shrouded Realm? Because he crawled back out recently. He's close by, too. I can smell it. There's a snuffed out fawn over here in Kelthus. That's where he probably is. Take this. It'll bring you right to him. I figure he'll be weak, convalescing and whatnot. He ain't moved from what we can gather. Pulling himself back, probably about tore him to shreds. Why not use the font that would have taken him to Rasharn? Rasharn's a dangerous place for a tyrant showing weakness. Sandrak has enemies at court. He's smart to avoid him if he can. All right then, round three. Sandrak will have summoned his personal guard to watch over him. You won't be able to avoid him. You know what that means, right? The girl. Be there alongside all your unfinished business. Thanks, guys. 
I'd ask you to help, but you would have offered by now. Yeah, I'm still on the mend after getting gut shot by your aforementioned friend. And my kind live in a cave for a reason, kid. Out there, we tend to get killed by folks less enlightened than yourself. But good luck, and make it hurt. Before you leave, kid, hit up that spell altar. Got something you'll need. What's the deal with this spell? It's a ward breaker. Something tells me you'll need it to get close to Sandrak. Guess I'll give this spell a try. Next time, fellas. All right now, Jack. Devin, please. This is going to sound crazy, but you have to listen to me. I just spoke with Thaddeus. You're right about the crazy. Listen, Sandrak's alive. Hurt, but alive. You need to lock the vault down tight. Put the whole Palathon on alert. I'm on my way. Can't let you face him alone. No, if I fail here, Sandrak will come for the Binding Stone. You have to be there to stop him. Can you hear me? Luna, please answer or show up. Come on. Luna, if you can hear me, you know I'm coming. You know what I have to do. I'm begging you. Don't try to stop me. Are you sure sending them away is a good idea? You can't talk me out of this. No one here needs to die. Mm, but they really do, though. Let him live, and we'll pull our forces from the front. You have the Binding Stone. You've won the war. He'll see that. He listens to my counsel. Sandrak's not the warmonger your Grand Magnus makes him out to be. He won't let Roshanians fight a battle we can't win. Listen to yourself. Have you completely forgotten? He's been trying to conquer the world since we were kids? Kirkin drove him to that. He used to be one of you. I don't care. I'm asking you to care. To make it stop here. You've handed her the Binding Stone, the control of all magic, and she's still going to invade Rashan just to make an example of us. Both of our people will die for no reason at all. One of us has to be the first side to quit. Our people, huh? Grow up. We can change how this works, Jack. The war, all of it. Right here. You and I. We can get them to listen. Remind them that the real goal is healing the wound. Children. Stop! Julian Zuchi, when Lord Chizichan. Sherata Delianar, Noe Shasa. Surrender is for Lucius. Where are you, Thrada Kul? Leave it. Come home to the front. They need to see their leader alive and with them as the Lucians approach. They need help. I won't take the advice of someone whose loyalty is so obviously <laughs> divided. Binding stone's too far for that to work, genius. I'm not bringing it to me. I'm bringing myself to it. Ah, the Parathon Vault, of course. No, wait! This will give them up. Well, shit. Holy shit! Uh. Oh! Uh. Uh. Come on! Uh. 
Devin! Sandrak's inside the Palathon. You've got to raise the alarm. What? That's not possible. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear what? Portal's opening all over. Nightblade's inbound. I'm coming. I need to find Devin. How the hell is this happening? Sandrak pulled himself to the Binding Stone somehow. The Binding Stone you didn't destroy. Yeah, that one. Thanks. Brilliant. I couldn't stop him. It came out of nowhere. Captain, rally our people and secure the upper floors. And if you... If you see it starting to turn, signal all hands for an evacuation. Flyers, crafts, drop skiffs. This is Captain Selko. Sandrak is heading to the path. Kirkin's intercepting, but I won't make it in time. The font... On it, sir. Devin, lock this area down until backup arrives. Hell I will. If Sandrak absorbs the font, the Palafon goes into free fall. You can't help, Devin. I've got the mark. It's the only thing that stands a chance against him right now. Glad to have you back. Coming in! Heading down to the path. Hold the line here. Understood. Good luck. Sir, this is Jack. I'm closing in on your location. Do you copy? Damn it. It won't be a court-martial, Sandrak. It will be incineration. I highly encourage you to think about this. How could you? Generations of Roshanians unable to produce Magnite. Good. Using the ley lines this way is a war crime. The dynastic families agreed at the Conclave of Gulhan. To hell with Gulhan. All Gulhan did was pretend the Everwar was polite. You've crippled them, Kirk. You've single-handedly damaged Roshan society beyond repair. Their culture, all their lives to come. My people! You've served the Immortals for 30 years. You've warred against Roshan the whole time. You don't get to decide when they're your people, and when they're really your people. I will go to Lavin. I will expose this abominable operation and your role. The king endorsed this operation. He was also the one that insisted it be kept from you until its success was verified. I will tell them. The consuls of Lucia, the world, will kill you first. Now, now. This will be a liberation. They've squandered your power on this place. This cheap theater. I think we're past that trick now, don't you? This place is 
place is alive, Sandrak. You'll kill her and everyone aboard the Palathon if you absorb that font. I'll carry their memories with me. But winning at all costs requires a resilience to sin. You told me that. No! Wait! Even the Pentasad has reason to fear me now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ah! I won. Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't! Hold on, Jack. Oh, what is that smell? Oh, seriously, it's like something died in here. It's Saren. You've just forgotten how much it reeks. You saved me. That's what friends are for, right? You're finally looking better. What's that? Sandrak won, Jack. You remember that? A little while after the Palathon fell, these... These shackles just appeared on the arms of every Magnus on Avium. They block our access to the Ley Lines. Magic. Sandrak controls all of it. The war's over. Well, not all Magni have lost their power. The loyal ones out there still have their sigils. Not so much for fugitives like me. Rasharnians have occupied the city? Every city, as far as I can tell. There are some holdouts. Glavegate, a few of the Claylish Isles. But their magic is gone too. They won't last. This is my fault. All of it. I'm so sorry. You dream of it all the time. Of your friend, Devon. I experience it through you. Our mind link still works despite these. That's how I saw them save you. Capture you. A bit of both. Rashan needed Magni, though, so I went from prisoner to war college pretty fast. And that's all it took for you? To renounce Lucium and everything? Free tuition? One, don't ever knock free tuition. Two, I renounced Lucium when I found out why Rashan desperately needed Magni. How awfully Lucium and Kirken have treated their enemies. You and your friends pretty much worked for the bad guys, Jack. Oh, and Sandrak's not king of the world. Bat shit insane. Look, I don't care. Did any of the others make it? I don't know. I barely caught you in time. I need some air. You won't like what's out there. Are you afraid one of them will recognize you? Not outside of the uniform. Rasharn's really in 
enjoying this. This isn't Rashan. This is the Morbane. The who? Sandrax Butcher. These are his soldiers. Not even part of the army, really. Just a pack of wild dogs. Sandrax punishing Saren because of me. So these holdouts you mentioned. Gladegate still resisting Sandrak and Kalthus. That's interesting. My friend, uh, my field commander, Zandara. She's Carthusian royalty. If she survived the Palathon, she'll have fallen back to Gladegate. If I could get there. Big if. There he is. The Morbane. Saren, these whispers of rebellion, they make your children weep. Accept anguish. Internalize it. That prisoner with him. You'll be more Their lights at aren't. peace. Hiding these fugitives it's an execution. in the Lucian army. We all know it hurts them worse. Sandrax is not the warmonger you make him out to be. Huh? Remember saying that to me? I can't take in much more of this. I gotta get out of here. I think a big patrol goes by up ahead. Let's stop here for a bit. Sandrak did have a plan, you know. It was sound, actionable, and in the end, the world would have benefited from the war we were waging. You sound like Kirkin. Don't ever compare me to her. Look, I can't justify what Sandrak's doing now. He's lost his fucking mind. But there was an honor in him that your Grand Magnus could never even pretend to have. I know you saw a different side to her. And probably only one. Luna, you really need to cut it out with this. Kirkin took me in when I lost everything. Who wouldn't take in a Triarch that just dropped in their lap? I mean it. Rashan hasn't produced a Magnus in ten years, Jack. Magic doesn't take to our people anymore. What does that have to do with Kirkin? She's the one that sent the Immortals that did it. They infiltrated their way to the Hanging Isles, poisoned the ley lines across the skies of Rasham. All of our children have been born lightless ever since. Wait, what? I I is it permanent? We don't know. No one's been able to lift the curse, not even Sandrak with the Binding Stone. Without new magic coming in, Rashan's culture and traditions are dying. You understand the horror of it, right? Our entire identity is fading away. I don't know what to tell you. This is wartime, Luna. One that never ends. You don't get to decide what's the line and what's crossing it. Are you crazy? You absolutely get to decide. Why do you think Kirken keeps it a secret? Even from her order, the connection our magical bloodlines have with the ley lines is gone. Wiped out. Sterilized. So that's why Rasharn kidnaps Magni from other countries? Who are the bad guys again? In a few years' time, Rashan would have been unable to defend itself in the Everwar. So Sandrak took shortcuts to end it. I'll say. Just thought you should know how we really got to this point. Are we done here? I don't know. Are we? What made you decide to bring us to Saren? Because you're heavy. I knew I wouldn't have flight for long, and Saren was close. Anyway, we grew up here, more than half of that time hiding from someone or another that meant us harm. Figured we could use that to our advantage. The Morbane, though, he's something I didn't count on. It's strange being here. It really is, huh? The whole time I served in the Light's army, I never came back. A lot of bad memories. Bad smells. <laughs> the worst. I was out for a month, huh? What else did I miss? News from the outside world? It's rare. I only learned about Glavegate because I overheard the Rashanians talking about it. What about the front? No such thing. The Lucian lines fell back, dissolved. Lots of Light's army hiding along the coasts of Kailay now. Oh, a few of the Sky Clans of Oromen put up a fight. Until Sandrak threatened to pull the magic out from under their floating islands. So essentially, it all sucks. Oh, it gets better. There have been whispers about the Pentasad lately, that something's wrong with it. Wrong how? I don't know. It's hard to tell from here. Any way we can get a message to my friend at Glavegate? 
Farkal's stones are dead, couriers only work for Sandrak, and Kalthus is on the other side of the womb. So there's a chance. After the Palathon, Sandrak immediately cut off communications across Avium. The first step to total control is enforcing silence. And I'm the in... Never mind. What's wrong? As the Hand, I ran counter-surveillance for the Order of Masks, cataloging enemy command networks to find out where they were most vulnerable. He used what I built for him. I can't take that pot back. You were fighting a war, Luna. That's how you do it. What made you go rogue and save me from the Palathon? Seriously? You told me. The next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. Just saying. That turned out different. Sandrick was... He was changing. It became less about fixing wrongs done to Rashan and more about just hurting everyone. About domination. That's not what I signed up for. Oh. Thought it might be because we were best friends. Look, the cave in Kalthus? There was a moment there where you hesitated. Where you heard me. We can change how this works, Jack. The war, the wound, all of it. Right. We had a chance at peace. Kirken and Sandrick were just in the way. You saw that. Of course I was going to save you. I'm done. Let's go. Great. I'll take care of it. Novitas the lead, Magnosar. And Zunanen. Numichin. Nuzerdatim, Yodomu. Boyera Sharn. Hey! Tukas. Okasar me ilen. Leave her alone. We're just going home. Zelentas. Et uses to mitasem. Stare at the ground. Just do what they say. Achiriesi desam. Cesara yesti de domo. Cesau seisem utura icha inen. could have destroyed it. The Binding Stone. I had the chance and didn't take it. Now, now this. You did what you thought was right. That's a hard thing to do, you know? Most people avoid conviction. I got him killed. And take tension to save it! It was mine, let me go! The Escher Enshan I listened to the kid. Jack! Wait! I can't take it. Kunshia Sermagashi. You're on! Holy shit. How did you do that? The mark must still be tied to the binding stone. So it can undo its magic. We need sigils. Shit! Come on! We'll take the lift! What are we... The safe house is the other way! I stashed our gear someplace else. It's close. Good. When word of that fight gets out, things are gonna pop off. Word got out. You know, I just realized I never said thanks for saving my life. Now it's in danger again. Go you. Shit. It's home. What's left of it? Our armor, sigils, they're all in there. Five years. And no one's even bothered to rebuild the place. Love what you've done with the place. Where's the stash? That's the stuff. Don't laugh. <laughs> what are you doing? Seeing if I can fly it's yet. It's not working. You don't say. 
the connection to the ley lines is still pretty shit. It'll get there. In the meantime, I guess we take the elevator to topside. They've got it locked down with wards. I know how to break them, though. Let's split up. I'll get to the elevator controls, take out the guards there, we meet back up, and... And get the fuck up on out of here. It's a plan. Hey, wait. I, uh... I held on to this for you. You kept this? Why? Why do you think? Hold on to it. You know, in case we don't see each other again. I'm almost at the elevator. I deactivated the wards. Hold tight. I'll be there soon. <laughs> the last immortal. Oh, the Morbane. Thought you'd show. Sendrick thought you might return here. Gutterets prefer a familiar nest. Where's the traitor? I kill you both, I can finally leave this shithole and have it all thrown into the wound. There's no... Remembered how to fly. Jack, you need to see this. That's new, and awful. It's causing the wound to spread faster now. Sandrax summoned so much magic up from the Shrouded Realm that it's boiling over. It's too concentrated to hold. Especially if you're also keeping everyone else's magic in check. I know he doesn't see this as his fault. He's probably just offended by it. As if the Pentasod was denying him some final lordship. I can buy us some time. I gave everybody their magic back. You did not. I did it for us. What's the difference? A uh, scale? You're earnestly being humble, and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Let's find a portal to take us to Glavegate. Meet up with Zendara and whoever else is there. I'm not going to Glavegate. What? No, don't worry about Zendara. I'll explain how you're on our side now, in a conversation I'm honestly not feeling 100% about right now. But I'm not. Not really. I'm done, Jack. I've turned against my own people. I can't go back to Rashan. Lucium is no longer my home. I'm just... done fighting for either of them. Come on. Don't leave me again. Help me. I told myself that I'd go when you were on the mend. Well, just... Disappoint yourself and don't do that. I'm sorry, I just... I can't bring myself to fight him. You have to, Luna. The wound is spreading. We don't know how much longer we have. We don't need to. My best friend's going to stop it. I need to get to Gladegate and find Zendara. The Gladegate. I've got to get down there and find Zendara.
Form our lines. The next wave is on its way. I thought you died. With Devon. I'm just here to help. Feels like you need it. We were able to push them out here beyond the wall once our magic came back. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah. I made a mistake. I'm trying to fix it. Here's your chance. Adios? Good to see you, kid. Me too. Yeah. Thought you could use some more guns. I'll take it. Hold this position while Jack and I reinforce the main gate. Been no word from Kirkin since the Palathon fell. So this is it, huh? We're what's left of the Immortals? We? Hey now, alumni count. Jack of Saren! Uh, speaking of alone. You're to come to my flagship alone, or I'll kill everyone here. I've let the Queen's Rebellion go on long enough as it is. You can try. Don't go crawling his hump, kid. Not yet. Hump is what? It means don't go picking a fight. I think I might know why he's here. Sandrak! Been a minute? Ted. You look well. Well, you don't. You look wicked. Like a root grown wrong where the earth didn't want it. Who's picking a fight now? Shh. Watch. He's gonna bind him to an oath. I'm surprised you've come out of hiding. Yeah, weren't my first choice, but I owed the kid a favor. You mean it about him? He goes with you, he's safe? Gaius Arastaya, Uenura Jachi. Ometedeliame, Atameni. We'll be there in due course. You just signed me up for what? Ah, uh, clean out your ears. He said you're going to his flagship. Can you think of a better way? To die? No, dummy. To figure out what Sandrak's plan is. The wound expanding this much, this fast? He knows he done fucked up. Thinks he needs another tryout to help him fix it. You have nothing to back any of that up. Now look, Sandrak went so nut nut, we got no choice. I'll go. He's right. Jack, I'm so glad you're alive. Kirkin. Holy shit, where are you? Sandrak's flagship. I've been his guest for some time now. Better get back to Greyvale. Fan is Vartu! Forgive us for starting early. Lavanish wolf herring is a frail plate at this altitude. I lost my appetite when you started threatening my friends. Ah, the misplaced, puffed-chested vigor of youth. That's what was missing from the menu. 
You really are missing out. I resurrected the herring just for this occasion. A Lucian delicacy now extinct, a victim of the war. Doomed to Kirkin's gallery of vanished things, safe for tonight. From the ether to your dish, salute. At least you have your divine priorities straight. You're referring to the problem we're having with the wound. We've been working on a way to fix that. What is that? And hold on, you're working with him? I can conquer the world, Jack. But I can't save it. The wound widens faster every day now. With the power of the fonts, it obeys all of my commands. Except to stop. Maybe you broke it. This isn't me. The locus of energy at the base of the Pentasad? It's called the Maladar. The Aristean sign of the apocalypse. I know you've seen the Pentasad shrouded form, Jack. The so-called king of magic. Simultaneously standing there in the center of the wound, as if celebrating its hold on us. While skulking about in the dark below like some thonic puppeteer. This thing we blindly venerate? It's a demon, some wrathful god of old that loathes to share its wealth. When the Magni first learned to harness the Ley Lines, the Pentasad created the wound out of jealousy to punish them. Magic isn't destroying the world. The Pentasad is. Luna said you'd say something just like this. The Maladar it opened is one last gambit against the man who threatens to replace it. I want you to travel to the Shrouded Realm with me. Together, we can kill it. Kill it? The ship we built will take you there. Wait, you're seriously on board with this? This is Avium in a matter of days, Jack. We have to stand together on this. I can see no other way. Two things. First, you let me try to talk to it before we resort to violence. There has to be another solution. Second, I'm going to kill you when we're done. For Devin. These terms are entirely fair. Okay. Let's go. We go through the wound to reach the Shrouded Realm? In a way. Symbolically, yes. The deepest magics are based on ritual and reenactment. We perceive the Shrouded Realm as below us, so our descent here is a, a performance. And performance coupled with will creates reality. And you're using the Binding Stone to enhance that. Exactly right. This bathosphere Kirken and I engineered focuses its power and our will. If we pretend hard enough to go to the world below us, then inevitably we will get there. This isn't the wound anymore. It is. The wound is more than a bottomless pit, Jack. It's a hole in reality. Ideas fall into it, as do memories. Why do you think the details of the past are so hard for us to remember? It's not senility, or the ineptitude of scholars, or the boot tramp of war, or anything mundane at all. It's parts of history literally sliding into this impossible void. As it's grown over the years, the wound's increasing gravity has even pulled concepts from our heads before we think of them. Pulled words from pages of now empty books. The Shrouded Realm, Atava, the wellspring of magic, dream, and prophecy. Sister to Avium and the land above. Ah, oh, my head. What is that? It's said that life here requires senses beyond our own. Yours are compensating. Stay strong or it will be painful. After my injuries in the Deep Mere, my brief journey here was excruciating. All that corruption. This place is becoming a landfill. Some believe our realms are imperfect shadows of each other. When one dies, the other follows suit. The Maladar is destroying them both. It wasn't this bad before. The Pentasad made these rules. I will unmake them. We will unmake them. Now that you have left Kirk and suicide cult. What's that supposed to mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. 
Such a pointless endeavor. That sounds like an amazing amount of bullshit. Walk with me. I'll explain. The Immortals. It's a farce. You clean up small piles of corruption here and there, but that only lasts until you're too old to serve. Then she sends you to clean up a field of it, with a ritual that will end your life, take your soul. Kirken's agenda needed orphans like yourself to recruit, use up, and sacrifice, to keep the corruption at bay. You're lying. Am I? Ask Thaddeus why he left. It's not a grand order of warrior magni, Jack. It's a sack of compost. You've been bred for sacrifice in order to grow a better garden. General, inform Grand Magnus Kirken that she may take her leave without delay. Provide her passage to wherever she wishes. It will most likely be Glaive Gate. Leave, Varak. You're going to let her go? Just like that? Our vessel has reached its destination, so I have no need of her services anymore. I was only keeping her to influence our small alliance. Did you save her from the Palapon? I did. I realized my revenge would be nothing without her to suffer. You're insane. Very probably. Onward. Okay, what's this supposed to be? In my way. We'll need to work together on this. Sure this is the right place? The Pentasad has known we were here since we landed. It should show itself... Any moment now. Be careful, brother. Are you sure this parley of yours is still wise? Yes, stand down. Hi! I'm Jack. I was hoping we could talk. I have this friend. He says you might have taken a liking to me, so maybe you'll hear me out? This isn't working. Sandra, kill. The Maladar is destroying our world. Uh, worlds. If he's right about you, maybe you can help us. My friend Rook, I mean. He's in a lorry, and, well, we were... Wait, stop! I bring you down, rude creature. With the Thrada Cull, I refuse you. Ah! Help me, boy! I... Why did you send me here? What are you trying to say? I've seen this architecture before. In the Underdwell, the, the Alori. They came from the Shrouded many thousands of years ago. Come, little ones. 
souls gather to me. Your minds are young and your fears unfounded. Our journey upward is a good thing. slaughtering them. Sod made them to be a, a safety valve. They were never stealing our magic, they were trying to filter it. The corruption magic creates an avium. The Alori would have prevented it by sending it back here. There would have never been a wound. Didn't even give them a chance. All we saw was that they drained magic, so we killed as many of them as we could as soon as we met them and drove the rest away. Sandrak, I've got to stop him. We can put all this back together. Jack! It weakens before me! Together we can finish it! No! Don't fight it at all! Listen, the Penisod showed me how to- Resist its illusions! It will show you anything it needs to survive! Don't be a coward, boy! Sandra, will you listen to me? Stop attacking it! You came here to help me! I came here to help you fix the wound. God damn it! You're going to get everyone killed, asshole! Uh. 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 Those oaths really have teeth, Ted. Damn. Oh, shit! That looked like it hurt. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. Oh, I'm good. Where am I? Smells like you just fell out of the shrouded realm. Alarming twist. The Pentasod sent me here. Whatever it's selling, I ain't buying. <clears throat> Hold on, Rook. Hear me out. No. That thing can go fuck itself. It tricked us. 
told us Avia would be one big ball of paradise. Now get out of here before- Before you eat me. I know, I know. Just stop and listen. Ah! The mouth on you. Somewhere along the way, you forgot I ain't human, Jack. Big cantankerous rook. We go way back. The vast big gulf of hate between us is all gone. He sees me as one of the good ones. Newsflash, pissant! You got... you got good reason to hate me. To hate all of us. <laughs> we deserve it. For what we did. That's on us, though. Not the Pentasod. It needs your help. It's for you. Jack, can you hear me? Mind link's on the fritz. This don't seem much better. I'm kinda busy right now. You gotta get to Glavegate, pronto. Going to the Shrouded Realm was only Sandrak's first plan to kill the Pentasod, but he had a backup. If that didn't work, he'd use the Binding Stone to pull the Pentasod into our world. It'd be weaker here. He can do that? Yeah, according to my scry stones, he is doing it. Right now. Worst part? Kirkin's still all in on it. Telling everyone here they need to settle up with Sandrak and join the fight. You've got to stop her, Daddyus. Tell her I have another way to fix this. Sure. Like she gonna listen to me. I already tried. Try harder. If the Penisot dies, that's it. We're done. It's all done. I'm on my way. I'm bringing the Alori. Mm, lied straight to the man's face, kid. Didn't even blink. Your glory will never know rest. Oh, it showed you that. To what? Tug at my conscience? No. To make sure I'd see that the only person that can save us all is you. Please, come to Glavegate. Happy you could finally join us. Your Lori friends were a no-show. They'll be here. I'm done waiting. Air Commanders, prepare to join the Rasharnian assault. Sir, you can't do this. The Pentasod isn't causing the Maladar. It's suffering from it. Sandrak and the Binding Stone You think are... I don't know all of this? He's insane. He literally believes the Pentasod went berserk because it's jealous. Then why are you joining him? The fonts are gone. The Pentasod that made them is broken, unanchored, imploding, and all of Avium is crumbling apart as it lashes out. Nothing else matters. Lucium isn't joining Sandrak's Mad Crusade, Jack. We're using it so we can cauterize the wound at the source. What a crock of shit. Sorry for crashing in. Magna, I got a real blind spot for a lorry. The kid says you need our help? And from what I've heard of your plan, he's right by a mile. And just what help could you possibly give us? Look, lady, I ain't happy to be here either. We've had a bone to pick with your people for, I don't know, a few thousand years? We have a lot to make up for. This is how it's supposed to be. Whatever magic the Magni take from the Ley Lines, the Elori funnel back to where it came from. No corruption, no wound. Yeah, well, what he's showing us squares with my research. This whole mess started once the Elori were banished. You know what you're doing is impossible. I'm right next to you. The Pentasod is helping. We're tight. Tell me, Jack. Did you bring any other visions of perfect harmony that you saw in the Shrouded Realm that are actually relevant to the battle at hand? The Alori can heal the wound? We can start over? It won't happen immediately. We've corrupted so much. But it won't happen at all if we do what you're asking. Selko, get him out of here. Zendara, get your airships ready for transport and- No. I did not just hear that. Selko. Relieve the Grand Magnus of command. 
Bullshit like this is why I live in a cave. Lucium surrendered to Sandrak a month ago. Kalthus is still free. That makes me the ranking officer of the Immortals by Ancient Treaty. Look it up. You're making a mistake you can't undo. Take it up with Lavenry. If you help us, all the territories west of the Orenthals are yours. It's not much, but you'll have a sky. We can work out the rest from there. You're in no position to make such an offer. <clears throat> By law, we're a renegade army. She's the queen of Kelthus. Damn well do whatever she wants here. We were gonna help regardless, but sure, we'll take bonus freedom. Signal the commanders that there's been a change of plans. Please, sir. You can still help us. You're heading into disaster, Jack. The world ends because of what you chose today. Just give the word, Initiate. Well, that was a whole thing. That's an understatement. Are you doing okay about Kirkin? Of course I'm not. But what's done is done. So, do I call you Grand Magnus now, or what? Do you ever give things time to process, Initiate? So you're saying we should table it and go? I am. Are you ready? You've got the ball. We launch when you give the word. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Air Commanders have their final orders, sir. We're ready to embark and engage over the world. Keep our scrying officers silent until I give the signal. Sandrak still thinks we're coming to help. They won't know what hit him. Just need to get close enough to drop us on Sandrak's flagship. My boys will break away and try to dampen whatever Sandrak's spells have got its hooks in the Pentasod, pulling it through. Good a plan as any, except, well... <clears throat> our airships are powered by magic. How are we supposed to transport the Alori? You ain't. Fellas, time to gussy up. I wanted to see that. We can really do this. Good hunting, people. Did he really just yell wahoo? I was feeling it. Sir, Roshani and Eshet bearing for the Alori. We can't stop it. You have to, Captain. We can't do this without them. Strip it! Not bad. This is all on you now, Initiate. No, no. Last time it was just up to me, I made the biggest mistake of my life. We're only going to win this one together. Sit you up.
getting close to Sandrak. Should I wait for you? There's no time. Go! Jack, Kirkham betrays me with a doomed assault with you at the head. No. She was still all in on your plan. But my friends and I had a different idea. Oh, uh -huh. you turned against her. Wonderful. I've had a good influence on you. They're the key, Sandrak. If you really want to heal the wound, you're going to let them finish. You know I'm right. I admit, your army of gargoyles is something I didn't see coming. Children of the Pentasad, are they not? Cruel of you to bring them just to see it die. You must want to build yourself a little family of orphans again. After all you have seen, you still insist on prolonging the world's suffering. But... Can you hear it, Jack? In all of its varied hues of panic, the realization that even immortality is clear. Sup? Sup? The traitor returned at last. You dishonor everything I gave you, sister. That Rasharan gave you. You're so full of shit. You sold our people a dream you abandoned the moment I handed you the power to fulfill it. You don't always have to wait until I'm on the ropes to swoop in, you know? I don't. You're just always on the ropes. Do you know how many Lucians she's killed, Jack? And you, sister. How many of your countrymen have died at his hand? Van Chance at power, and then which of you will betray the other if I fall? Kirkin knew that joining me was the only answer. You dishonor her name and her station. Ugh! Nishas Yuchiba. Zichu. Enough! You mistake me for someone that has limits. I am the very wellspring of magic. The very... Remember that time we pulled one over on the Upbridge gang? I guess. I'm saying literally remember the time we pulled one over on the Upbridge gang. Finally time to end your summer. What?
This is for Devin. And for Luna. Oh, and, and the Palathon. And Saren. And fuck, man. Oh. Whew. Don't forget the Maladar. Right. And for the Maladar. No, dummy. Literally, don't forget the Maladar. It'll work. Damn, kid! Work says it's a bust. Too much corruption is pouring out of it too fast. Their absorption powers can't slow it down, much less cork it. Then what are we going to do? The wound's still growing. I'm thinking. Think faster. Rashanian Armada, this is the hand. Sandrak is dead and his madness is over. Stand down and disperse on my command. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. Then we start thinking about how to fix the wound. Isn't there something else th that we can do about it, I mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Before you ask, yeah, it works. What? The mandate, a healing ritual, one that splits you from your magic, from your soul, it works. I never would have left the immortals if it didn't. Ask too much of a person. Would it work on something this big? If I... Jumped in? Exploded yourself right next to the binding stone, flooded all the fonts back into the shrouded realm. Yeah, could do. There's a hair of a mite. You won't survive, though. Good news? That bunny in your eyes is gone. And resolve is a powerful thing. You're the worst possible person to actually understand goodbyes. I'll tell her. Well, okay. I don't have time to teach me the ritual, so... Just stick it in your head on the way down. No. Listen, kid. If you're gonna jump, just... Just jump already. Jack? It'll be okay, Luna. Jack! He fixed it. Never doubted him for a second. So, now that the wound's been unfucked for the moment... The rest is up to us. Magni orders are gonna have to rewrite their entire magical playbooks and include the Alori in them. West of the Orenthals, huh? That's a right nice stretch of green. Pretty hills, dark groves. Rook will love groves. They're all gardeners at heart, really. They deserve more. Yeah, well, what you started here, it's going to spread. Lucium will follow our example. Yeah, sure it will. Word from Lavendry. Speak of the devil. Short version. The king and the dynastic families give their unending thanks. That's it? The language used was lovely, yet economical. No, I mean, did Kirk and... No word from her at all, sir. The king will recognize your claim as the head of your order, if you ask for it. She'll, uh... Yeah, she'll come around. No, she won't. Yeah, likely not. She never did with me. You and Jack had the right of it, in a way I never did. Woke up right in time for the compliments. Keep them coming. There he is. 
You look good for someone that exploded. I got better. Paid having the Pentasad owe you a favor. Spit you back out the shrouded realm good as new. Mmm, your legs still seem a bit pudding foot, though. Your, uh, <clears throat> friend left when she saw you were on the mend. She said she wasn't sure where she was gonna go. Yeah, that tracks. So what's next? Well, plenty of Sandrak loyalists are still out there, running amok and causing trouble, refusing to believe he's really dead. You got any loose ends, kid? Wouldn't expect to tie him up in peace. And what about the Immortals? Rasharn's withdrawing back to the front. We'll take advantage of that time and try to rebuild. And, uh, under your leadership? I take it you have an opinion on that. I mean, yeah. I, um, I think it should be you. I see. I was thinking the same thing. You were? Oh, that's great. Totally should be you, for sure. Totally. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be me at all, <laughs> right? Oh, hell no. Okay, well that's a little rude. I mean, that would be the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, that could no. <clears throat> yeah, Literally no way, can't think right? Of <laughs> anything But like, worse. why not though? How? Like, you ever, you ever even then thought about it? Being the leader, I'm, I mean. <laughs> we could, I'm, It's funny though, but, listen, it's funny. It's you a know, funny we've idea. been through a lot. We, I'd love to see it. Well, I don't, you know, maybe we should try. A trial? Just for, well, what is that? Just for shits and giggles. I think I've proven myself more Give than once. I, I healed the wound.